Hub City Radio. Hey, Stacy. This is Scott. Hey, Scott. Let me put you through to Josh. Hold on. Okay, thanks. Hey, Josh, this is Scott. Hi. How's it going? It's going. I remember <laughs> to do everything correctly. Well, and that's why I thought I'd call a couple minutes early and just make sure we get all set up and stuff. Okay. I would say if we get going like about 38.2 or somewhere in there, that would be good. Okay. Somewhere close to that. Yeah, I should be able to do that. But the band is right in front of me, so when they're playing, you're really going to have to yell at me. But better? what's that? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Turn up the volume a little bit. Here. Okay. Uh, but whenever you want to flip me over and get me set up, we'll just make sure there's down feed and I'm coming through the board and all that, so whatever's good for you. Okay. Now it's okay here. Okay. Set up here. Hold on a second here. Okay, I think I do have the down feed. Okay, here we go. Still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm trying to three now then. Okay. Yeah, I'm here, and I have the down feed, so we should be good. You there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. What's that? You got down feed? I do have down feed, yes. Yep, we're good. Scott said, well, make sure the power stays on all games. So. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we'll just think good thoughts. But yeah, um, I don't know. If there are t there are 20 minutes now to introductions. Do you have 6:34 there? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you've got a break going, we'll go right out of that. Or when does one start? Um, 6:35 now. Um, looks like a bunch of ads until 40 after 42, 40 after. Say again. Bunch of ads till 40 after. Okay, fade the song that's in now and start that break if you can, and then we'll go right out of the break because we might be cutting it a little short. Oh, okay, I'll uh, get ready to go here. Games, we've got that right here on Fizzy Coach 103 coming up in moments. Falkton also uh, against the Ipswich Edmonds Central. That's on Sunday 97.7 and ESPN 1420 107.1 Aberdeen Central hosting here in the senior night for the Golden Eagles, their final home game of the year tomorrow. Don't forget to tune in on 94.1 The Rock as well, 2.30 kickoff. For NSU, bringing in Bemidji State with Gino tomorrow. It's all brought to you by Avarish and Luke's Hospital, the region's healthcare leader, providing more medical specialists right here, right now. Back at it with Big and Rich, coming up in moments. Time is running out on the best deals of the year during the month. Yeah, so you can just kick the intro in then after this break. Number one new car deal. With new vehicles discounted up to $9,000, there's never been a better time to buy. Check out a closeout 2013 Ram 1500 V8 engine, all the power options, specially priced right now, only 23.6. Or check out a 2013 Ram 2500 Crew Cab four wheel drive, Cummins diesel engine, heavy duty automatic transmission, and all the power options, 
Best price right now, just $37,292. Don't miss out on a 2013 Ram 3500 Crew Cab Dually Bighorn Edition. Cummins diesel engine, heavy-duty automatic transmission, touchscreen radio, and more. Over 40 to choose from, starting at only $42,997. Don't miss out during the model year and closeout event going on this month only at Aberdeen's number one new car dealer, the Aberdeen Chrysler Center. Stop today or check us out online at AberdeenChrysler.com. You up to that there? This is Aberdeen, Ron Colley, Cavalier Football on the Cavalier Radio Network. This is Country 103 at ESPNAberdeen.com. Cavalier Football is brought to you by Dakota Silk Screen, Orthopedic Surgery Specialist, Floor Max, Healthcare Plus Federal Credit Union, Molly Tommy, Max Auto Body, Little Caesars, Aberdeen Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Malchow's, Gene Lorenz at Edward Jones, Vance Gosh and Kramer, Floor to Ceiling, Aberdeen Ron Colley, Mark Jorgensen at American Family, Plaza Farm. Pharmacy, Fifth Avenue Trophies, Banners and Signs, NBC, Pearson Ford, Finishing Touch, Avera Aberdeen Family Physician, The Airport Cafe Travel Center, Wendy, Avera St. Luke's, Carol's and Bain Family Dental Care, and Aberdeen Asthma and Allergy. Cavaliers win! Cavaliers win! Now, with all the hard-hitting action, here's the voice of the Cavaliers, Scott Solberg. A very good evening to you tonight from Volga, South Dakota. The first ever meeting between the Roncalli Cavaliers and the Sioux Valley Cossacks in football. These two teams have met a few times at the uh, state basketball tournament in recent memory, but uh, the first time on the gridiron. So good to have you along and good to have you back after an off week last week. The Cavaliers back in action for the final two games of the regular season. Tonight here at Sioux Valley and then at home next Thursday night against Millbank. And uh, we've got a pretty good looking night right now. Uh, low 40s for the temp. Uh, Drove through some rain coming here, but uh, the skies look pretty much broken clouds here tonight. So we'll cross our fingers and hopefully uh, everything is going to be good to go for uh, for this ball game tonight. With no moisture, there is a chance for some off and on showers here tonight. But we'll see how it all plays out on this grass field. Seems to be in pretty good shape. They have had a lot of rain down here as we have back at home. But uh, looking forward to getting back on the field. The Cavaliers coming off some very convincing recent wins. Uh, look to have a fairly good test here tonight with Sioux Valley. They come in with a record of 2-4. and four. Uh, Sioux Valley has picked up wins this season over Sioux Falls, Christian, and Groton. A uh, 26-21 thriller that Sioux Valley came back and won late. The losses for the Cossacks have come to some very, very good football teams. They lost to Dry Valley, uh, Flandreau by a touchdown, and Flandreau and Ron Colley had a pretty good battle earlier this year. Uh, McCook Central Montrose knocked off uh, uh, the Cossacks, and then Beersford blanked uh, Sioux Valley last week 34 to nothing. but those are some very, very good teams, and so uh, certainly a strong level of competition for this Cossack team and the Cavaliers uh, will need to be ready to go here in their final road contest of the year tonight. Should be an interesting matchup. Uh, Sioux Valley kind of a run team. We'll talk with both coaches about what they expect looking forward to tonight's football game. So, good to have you along here tonight on Pheasant Country 103 also online at HubCityRadio.com We've got the audio stream and the video stream going as well, so uh, however you're with us here tonight, we do appreciate you being here and look forward to bringing it back home to you. We uh, did get a chance to visit with both head coaches. Dan Hughes is the head coach of the Sioux Valley Cossacks. And, of course, Terry Dosh of the Cavaliers are back to hear from our coaches after a two-minute timeout. Hi, Sarah. I'm calling to see if Andy's on vacation when of some sort. Like, I just got this curious know, call from someone claiming to be him saying he's been in a car accident and he's money to pay the hospital. I didn't send any money yet, but I can. Is he okay? Oh, Mom, that's a scam. Josh, I don't know if you're aware of all the various things. There's a uh, ad for the... Attorney General's Office, Division of Consumer Protection that plays right after I do the starting lineups and before the football game, that has to be played in that spot. You what? The Attorney General one. Oh, that one is running now? Uh, thought I did it, but... Okay. Is that the one you're talking about? What's that? Is that the one you're talking about? I, I, honestly, I can't hear you. The band's right in front of me, so I can't hear a thing. Um... But, yeah, it's the South Dakota Attorney General's something or other. That has to play uh, a little before 7. Okay. How long do you want in between? Um, We'll plan on two, and then there may be a longer one before the game starts. Okay. Fine. 
foot and ankle, shoulder and elbow sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. OSS features an urgent care facility and Aberdeen Physical Therapy for your treatment of orthopedic injuries. Let the staff with orthopedic surgery specialists help you keep competing. 701 8th Avenue Northwest in Aberdeen. When it comes to floor covering and installation. We'll go after this one. Yeah, you've got the interviews there, right? You've got the interviews there, correct? Yeah, I got them here. Okay. The first one will go after this one. Yep, that sounds good. Luxury vinyl, carpet, porcelain, and ceramic tile, as well as laminate. Floormax has everything you need with the largest inventory in the region. Stop by Floormax today across from Shopco in Aberdeen or call 225-5411. Joining us on our pregame is Sioux Valley head coach Dan Hughes coming into tonight's ball game at two and four against Aberdeen Ron Colley. And coach, I guess uh, I was thinking this is the first time you guys have ever met, and uh, that seems to be the case as far as the gridiron goes. Yes, that's what I hear. I, I hear uh, Sioux Valley and, and Aberdeen Ron Colley haven't played each other in the past, but first time for everything. So. Sure thing. And it's uh, it, it'll be a fun game, I'm sure. Uh, two and four on the season. Tell us a little bit about your year and how it's gone for you. You know our, our record isn't quite where we where we want it to be, but you know you have to earn every you have to earn it every week, and and quite honestly, some of the weeks we we uh, haven't been deserving of the W. But I believe we've been, we've shown improvement as the years progressed. Um, offensively, we've struggled as late. Uh, we're getting points on the board, uh, so we're we're looking to improve our execution this week up front uh, against a good defense that Ron Colley has. Well, and looking at your schedule too, I know uh, uh, it's a it's a tough schedule you guys have. There, there's no uh, there's no easy weeks for you. No, but we don't make any excuses about it. We love our schedule and and our mission is to compete week in and week out, and uh, we look forward to doing that uh, this week as well. What kind of a team are you? Do you like to uh, run first, pass first? Are you kind of a fifty fifty team? What do you like to do? Well, all, all great teams have to establish the run. You're not going to see a team in the dome that can't run the football on anybody. So, uh, you know, we've been uh, trying to change the culture here a little bit. We've been we've been really focusing on the run and 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 uh, communicating and, and setting expectations that that we do expect to be able to run the ball. Um, obviously, uh, we want to pass a little bit as, as well. The mission is, is to have a conceptual passing game, a short conceptual passing game to go along with our triple option. Um, but we have to we have to get at an advanced level. We have to work at, at improving and competing and executing at a higher level before we can start adding and adding and, and moving on to more things. Sure. And I guess it starts up front too. You know, you got to have the guys up front to get things rolling for you. Right. And and uh, we're lucky to have the guys that we do. You know, Kate Goodfellow's had a great year. Uh, he's a he's a great football player. We're lucky to have him, and and he will be able to help somebody on a Saturday. Uh, should they be lucky enough to have him? Yeah. Um, defensively, uh, what are your concerns with Aberdeen Ron Colley? You know, Ron Colley's like everybody else. They they are a great football team that that can attack you in multiple ways, and um, there's some great athletes uh, in the backfield, and and uh, you know they have a lot of confidence in what they do, and and uh, we have to be up to the challenge. As far as the years go has gone on, I know the improvement you look for each and every week uh and i guess the little things every week add up too have you have you taken good care of the football this year and and i guess helped yourself in that way yeah we have uh we it's not been perfect but but the last few weeks you know we we have taken care of the football we're focused on this week is keeping control of the football possessing the ball a winning time of possession um you know if aberdeen isn't on offense they aren't scoring so we, we want to control the football and, and obviously taking care of it, especially when you run as much option as we do. Um, that's a very important part of the game. And I guess one thing, you know, we do the Ron Colley games here. They've just been so opportunistic this year. Uh, you know, um, it, it's the little things that always add up in a game, and you got to take care of the football and not hurt yourself with uh, untimely penalties, I guess. Right, and we haven't been a very penalized team at all this year. We take a lot of pride in our discipline and our uh, you know, ability to execute, and and we've been one of the least penalized teams in, you know, if not the Big East in the state. So uh, we had a, uh, three or four games ago. We had we had one silly penalty that we addressed, and and uh, you know we've been we've been very fortunate in that regard. Right. Health wise, are you okay coming in? Yeah, we're we're pretty healthy. We have uh, we have one young man that won't be able to compete. 
uh, on the line, and Drew Wormendahl, uh, who's, who's a reserve lineman. We also have uh, another young man who plays a lot of corner uh, that's banged up and won't be able to play today, but uh, in Landon Stevens. And, uh, you know, those those injuries aside, you know, we're pretty healthy and we're, we're excited to play. And, uh, we're looking forward to showing more improvement. All right. Looking forward to seeing you, Coach. Best of luck, and thanks for your time. You bet. Thank you, Dan Hughes, the head coach of the Sioux Valley Cossacks. We're back with more in our pregame after we take a two-minute timeout. Are you having problems with credit cards, a door-to-door sale, or an extended warranty company? Do you have a complaint about your cell phone, wireless services, or auto purchase? Are you concerned about protecting your financial privacy or falling victim to identity theft? If you're having these or any other consumer-related issue, contact the Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division at 800-300-1986 or by visiting their website, atg.sd.gov. They're there to assist you. On your way to the game? On your way to the grocery store? On your way to the YMCA? On your way to school? On your way to the mall? On your way to the clinic? What's on your way, you ask? It's the drive-up ACM machine at Healthcare Plus Federal Credit Union, located in the third drive-up lane. Conveniently located at the corner of Dakota Street and First Avenue. On your way to, well, everywhere. See what we can do, member NCUA. Molly Downey of First Premier Realty in Aberdeen would like to wish both teams the best of luck in today's game. And when it comes to buying or selling a home, luck shouldn't have anything to do with it. Call Molly today to find out more about buying or selling a home. Molly has over 13 years of professional real estate experience in the Aberdeen area, and she can help you with all of your real estate needs. Call Molly Downey today at 380-4163. That number again is 380-4163. Max Auto Body is here to help you in any situation, whether it's a scratch, dent, ding, or accident. Max Auto Body provides friendly service, free estimates. They can handle your insurance paperwork and even provide a courtesy car while they work on your vehicle. Plus, they use environmentally friendly paints just like your factory paint, which allows for the best possible paint match. Call Max Auto Body at 225-0480 and let them get the job done right the first time. Max Auto Body. Max Auto Body, 225-0480. Joining us on our pregame show, Ron Colley head coach Terry Dosh after the off week coming up against a Sioux Valley Cossack team that I guess is, is new to me, Coach. How about to you? Uh, new to me also. You know, we've, we've seen them on film, so we kind of have, a, I think, a decent idea of what they're going to do. But, you know, uh, new experience, great. New, I've never actually been to Volga. So, you know, hey, we're living large. Yep. <laughs> I'm in the same boat with you. It'll be a new experience for everybody. And I, I know you want to come out with a win. They're a team at 2-4 and four that has struggled the last couple of weeks to score some points, but they've played some pretty stiff competition, too. You know, they have. They've played a, a tough schedule. Um, you know, they're a physical, aggressive team. Got some decent size up front. Got some good athletes. You know, we're just hoping that this is not the week that it all goes together for them. But... You know they're not uh, they're not they're not a bad football team. They just have played played some good people. So um, I'm sure it'd be a good test for us. Right. How did you survive the off week? Well, you know I don't know. I think we got through it pretty well. We uh, had to try to be a little bit creative in practice, and you know because it'd be just kind of a grind. I think to do the same old same old every day. And had, uh, we did take a couple of days off, and we watched some film and try to do some things in, in practice where we create a little competition among kids and things like that without necessarily, you know, lining up and scrimmaging and we you know, don't really, we can't afford to get too many people banged up, but, um, you know, and I think maybe it helps a couple of kids heal up a little bit more, so um, yeah. hopefully it was a good thing for us and everybody's chomping at the bit and ready to roll. Right, right. Uh a thing too, where you go back and maybe work on a few fundamental things, or has, have you been pretty happy with that this year? Oh no, we're always working on fundamentals. You know, um, <laughs> I'm kind of an old school guy. You know, I'm a pretty firm believer that uh, football games are won by blocking and tackling, and just you have to do the little things as well. And if you don't do the little things well, the big things don't happen either. And usually, if you do the the little things well. Um, big things will happen. So, you know, we, we work hard on fundamentals. Right. Uh, as far as the game tonight, any keys that you see coming in? 
Well, I think, you know, first of all, control the line of scrimmage. I mean, defensively, you know, they, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they have kind of shown a propensity to pretty much just bring the house. You know, they might have seven, eight guys locked up, and they're just coming. So, you know, we have to be able to handle that, not be confused up front. Sometimes when you got people coming from all angles and directions, you know, it can put a little stress on the, on the line. And you know, hang on to the football. Um, you know, we'd like to like to get off to a good start, maybe, and and just kind of always, if a team is has scored a little bit, and you can and you can jump on them a little bit. Sometimes maybe that breaks their will a little bit. So we don't we want to try to get after them and make them think, oh, here we go, another week. So, yep. Uh, as far as their offense, are what what do they like to do? Are they kind of a run first team? They are a run first team. You know, they're. Uh, for the majority of the time, they're a, they're a double tight. They've run some wishbone. They've run some double wing. They've run out of the eye. They've run with a wing. They've run with a flanker. Uh, but they definitely try to establish the run. They run a little option, a um, little pullback trap, some power, run a little bit of toss. You know, they, they like to run the option. So, you know, we have to be sound in our assignments and things like that. And they've got a couple of tall receivers. So, you know, a little, little bit of play action stuff. We've got to make sure we don't fall asleep and start creeping up and give up something big over the top. All right. Well, uh, we'll see what tonight brings, Coach. Looking forward to getting back on the field, I'm sure, and uh, we'll talk to you after the game. All right. Looking forward to it, Jack. Great. Thanks, Terry. Terry Dosh, head coach of the Cavaliers, back with more in our pregame after a two-minute timeout. Wishing success to both teams in today's game from Little Caesars Pizza of Aberdeen. Stop by the store. It's one How long do we want here? Yeah, go ahead and go two. Okay or just a quick snack. Enjoy the convenience of their drive-up window and you won't even have to get out of your vehicle. Little Caesars uses fresh dough and sauce made each day and cheese that's never frozen. Carry out a fresh, hot and ready pizza today at Little Caesars Pizza, Southeast 6th Avenue in Aberdeen. Little Caesars Pizza, home of the $5 hot and ready pizza, has been voted Best Value in America five years in a row. Pizza, pizza. When you come home, it should be relaxing, cozy, your escape from the world. At Mel Charles Home Furnishing, we are here to help you create that look and feel. We want to help you find that perfect sofa where you'll snuggle up with someone you love the table you sit down to for family meals where memories are made and that comfy bed that helps you get the rest you need let us help you find the perfect quality furniture so you get the look you'll love to come home to at mel Child's home furnishings downtown aberdeen come home to mel Child. Mel Child. financial investments are very important but so are the investments of time patience and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches teachers, and mentors. I'm Gene Lorenz, your Aberdeen Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now is the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. For a free college cost analysis, call 225-5549 or stop by my office next to Subway in front of Kmart. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Have you been injured through no fault of your own? The Aberdeen Law Firm of Vance Johnson Kramer has attorneys who specialize in helping people who have been in car accidents, farm accidents, slips and falls, workplace injuries, and other accidents where injuries were caused by others. I'm Ron Wick. I'm going to go after this one. Okay. 20 years. If you've been hurt by someone else, we at Vance Johnson Kramer can provide you with specialized and experienced lawyers to help you get back what you've lost. Vance Johnson Kramer. Let us put our knowledge and experience to work for you. And welcome back to Volga, South Dakota, the site of Sioux Valley High School, as uh, we bring you Ron Colley Cavalier football here tonight on Pheasant Country 103. Good to have you along. Scott Solberg with you. My normal cohort in crime, Kurt Hilsendegger, is here tonight, but has family members here and has elected to watch the game from the stands, and certainly uh, nice to be able to get family together and, and watch the football game together. So, uh, Hills, you'll be back with us next week uh, up in Aberdeen against the uh, Millbank Bulldogs. Let's take a look at your starting lineups for tonight's football game. The starting lineup are brought to you by Shoe Science. Don't miss the end of summer clearance, which is on now at Shoe Science. Get huge savings on summer clearance styles. There's even sale prices on fall shoes and cold weather apparel. Hurry in for the end of summer clearance at Shoe Science in Aberdeen's Lakewood Mall. Haven't seen the uh, coin flip here, so uh, we'll read off the Ron Colley uh, offense and the Sioux Valley defense, and uh, we'll see how uh, the game kicks off here tonight. I uh, missed it if they did have it, so I apologize for that.
But uh, for the Sioux Valley Cossacks defensively, up front, the defensive ends are Kyler Crow, a 195-pound senior, and Tyler Tofty, a 225-pound senior. The interior lineman defensively, Kate Goodfellow, a very good lineman, 230-pound senior, and Cole Hag, a 160-pound junior. Three linebackers for uh, Sioux Valley inside Trevor London, a 180-pound senior, is the middle linebacker. The outside linebackers are Brock Suartos, a 180-pound sophomore, and Ma Matt Larson, a 150-pound freshman. The corners for Sioux Valley, Lane Lucas, a 165-pound senior, and Nick Strasburg, a 145-pound freshman. And the safeties are Hayden Hall, a 170-pound junior, and Colin Kramer, a 170-pound sophomore. So some very young kids out on the Sioux Valley defense, and uh, we'll see if Ron Colley can try to exploit that a little bit. For the Cavaliers up front, uh, got a chance to heal up over these past couple weeks, and so uh, no changes. The uh, offensive line, Matt Schlosser, the center, a 220-pound junior. The offensive guards are Sam Manu, a 200-pound junior, and Tyson Mitchell, a 175-pound senior. The offensive tackles, Austin Mogg, a 180-pound junior, and Zach Andera, a 195-pound senior. Braden McNary, the tight end, a 210-pound junior. The wideout for the Cavaliers, Lane Holzer, a 160-pound senior. And in the backfield, Zach Lundquist. Of course, the quarterback, a 185-pound senior. The running backs are Dalton Cox, a 205-pound senior. Braden Hilton, a 165-pound senior. And Lucas Lorenz, a 210-pound senior. And again, if Ron Colley can get into that second level, a lot of freshmen and sophomores there, and the likes of Cox and Lorenz and Hilton, tough to bring down. We'll see if the Cavaliers can uh, can get that done. Sioux Valley, though, uh, again, wants to be physical up front. And as you heard Coach Dosh say, a very aggressive team. And so uh, we'll see if the Cavaliers can try to exploit that, or if Sioux Valley is able to get some things done on their side as well. A lot of two-way starters as the uh, Cossacks getting ready to be introduced here. Uh, just quickly, we'll run through their uh, offensive lineup. Uh, the center is Logan Trebenwasser. Uh, Trebozer, rather, a, f a senior. The guards are Cade Goodfellow and Skylar Bassett, a pair of seniors. Tyler Tofty and Kyler Crow are the uh, offensive tackles. An entire front uh, line for a Sioux Valley offensively made up of seniors. The tight end is Cole Haig, a 160-pound junior. Colin Kramer, the other tight end, a sophomore. And then in the backfield, the running backs are Trevor London, the senior. Hayden Hall, the junior. Brock Suardos, a sophomore. And the quarterback is Lane Lucas, a 165-pound senior for the Cossacks. Uh, defensively for Ron Colley, same uh, starters as has been the case over these last few months. Uh, Tyson Mitchell, the nose tackle. Austin Mogg and Sam Manu, the defensive tackles. Lucas Lorenz and Zach Andera, the defensive ends. Dalton Cox and Landon Hayline are the linebackers. And then the secondary, Braden Hilton and Braden McNary, the quarterbacks. And Lane Holzer and Zach Schaefbauer, a pair of seniors, are the safeties. So those are your starting lineups. Again, brought to you tonight by Shoe Science in the Lakewood Mall. Once again, this game, uh, Ron Colley schools recognize Primrose Retirement Communities, Dakota Bank, Marco, and Wendy's as Ron Colley score, score for scholarship sponsors for each Ron Colley touchdown. Primrose, Dakota Bank, Marco, and Wendy's make a donation to the Ron Colley Tuition Assistance Program and help families provide their children with a Ron Colley education. Well, we will be back with tonight's tip off and uh, kickoff rather from uh, Volga and Sioux Valley High School, and we'll do that after our Law on the Field, which was brought to you by the South Dakota Attorney General's Office Division of Consumer Protection. Robocalls are on the rise. You might be asking yourself, what is a robocall? Okay, they have a ton of announcements going on here. They haven't even started the Sioux Valley intros. So uh, just keep playing ads, and uh, I'll tell you when we're getting close to bringing it back. Okay. Calls every minute. If you receive robocalls, don't press 1 to have your number removed. Just hang up. If When's the second time you want me to play that Attorney General ad? Um, yeah, it only has to play once in the game, and it's supposed to be right before the kickoff. So. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I love a deal. What's for sale? Doesn't matter, as long as it's at rock bottom prices. Well, I usually like to know what I'm getting, like a Wendy's Junior Cheeseburger with hot and juicy beef and cheese. Just 99 cents. I'll take it. This one's not for sale. Get one delicious for your dollar on Wendy's Right Price, Right Size Menu. Big taste, like our four-piece spicy chicken nuggets and frosty, each just 99 cents every day. Out of this! I mean, it's really good. Now that's better. Prices and participation may vary. Menu starts at 99 cents. Do you want to make more out of your available space? Look no further than the Fall Festival of Savings at Florida Ceiling in Aberdeen. Florida Ceiling carries beautiful custom and semi-custom cabinets that will make any room in your home look more beautiful and be more efficient. Florida Ceilings designers can help you create the look you're dreaming of, from door and cabinet options to design services. 
Stop by and talk to Floor to Ceiling today, and you can have an entirely new look for your home in time for the holidays. Great prices and quality service. You can have it all at Floor to Ceiling in the Super City Plaza. Roncalli's mission is instilling Catholic values and promoting academic excellence by nurturing mind, body, and soul. How does the mission work? Multiple consecutive years of earning the President's Volunteer Service Award and winning the State Activities Association Academic Achievement Award for every single athletic and fine arts program. Values, academic excellence, mind, body, and soul. Okay, we're doing the anthem now, Josh, so I'll let you know afterwards when we are getting close. Okay. Or visit AberdeenRoncalli.org. Dr. Thomas Harbord at Aberdeen Orthopedics and Sports Medicine can help improve your quality of life. If you're suffering from an orthopedic injury, such as joint ache, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and or foot problems, it's time to call Aberdeen Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. With outreach clinics in Gettysburg, Roscoe, Miller, Deer, and Red Sea. Call 229-0205. That's 229-0205. Or online at AberdeenOrthopedics.com. American Family Insurance Group's dreams are worth pursuing. Every weekend we give you things we can Get away from your projects around the house. Golf. American Family offers a range of insurance designed to protect your dreams. And with our claims team available 24-7, quality service is always within reach. Contact your local agent for a competitive quote. Your dream is out there. Go get it. We'll protect it. For details, contact agents Mark or Brian Jorgensen at 225-7970 or stop by Bobby T. Moccasin Drive in Aberdeen today. If you've got a special event or promotion coming up, the 5th Avenue Trophies, Banners, and Signs could create an image and identity that will make your event memorable. See them for teachers, trophies, and banners for any occasion, from kids to academic and sporting events to personal and workplace milestones. They'll help create a trophy or plaque to signify your event and can create t-shirts and banners for everything, from family reunions and gatherings to supporting your favorite team or event. No matter the occasion, let Fifth Avenue trophies, banners, and signs make it memorable. See them today, just north of Domino's on Main Street. When you need a prescription... Okay, you can bring it back after this one, Josh. Okay. ...or United Clinic Pharmacy, all conveniently located in Aberdeen. They honor all major insurance cards. Free prescription delivery and mail orders as well. And of course, they're all on the professional service. So whether it's allergy season, <coughs> flu season, or any time you need your prescription filled, see your friends at State Street Pharmacy in the Medical Square Building, United Clinic Pharmacy in the Stanford Health Clinic, or Plaza Pharmacy located in Ken Super Fair Foods in Aberdeen. All right, welcome back to Volga, South Dakota. Again, Sioux Valley hosting Aberdeen Ron Colley in tonight's featured matchup here on Pheasant Country 103. And again, we welcome those of you watching and listening online at HubCityRadio.com, uh, KGIM FM, Redfield, Aberdeen. As uh, we get ready for tonight's kickoff, last-minute words from for uh, both these teams. Uh, scoring drive recaps again all night long, brought to you by the Aberdeen Chrysler Center, the home of the best price in the Auto Plaza in Aberdeen. Ron Colley will come out and will kick it away. And so the Cossacks will be on offense first. Sam Van Orman setting the tee at the 40-yard line. And Sioux Valley dropping back to receive. Uh, back deep, number eight is uh, Hayden, uh, Hayden Hall. And uh, number 30 back there is Brock Suartos. Hall, a junior, Suartos, a sophomore. Van Orman uh, has been a nice addition here. Joined the Cavaliers, I believe, in their third game of the year. And... Has been very solid on the extra points. We'll see uh, how deep the kick goes here tonight. A full moon just looking over the field here. So skies have cleared out, and we are underway as Van Orman's kick, a short end over end kick taken by an up man at about the 25 yard line. And he'll be brought down after a short return out to about the 36 yard line. And Sioux Valley will take over there first and 10. Again, Lane Lucas will be the quarterback, a 165-pound senior. The running backs are Brock Suartos, the sophomore, Hayden Hall, a junior, and Trevor London, a 180-pound senior. Two tight ends, the typical lineup for Sioux Valley, but they'll show a lot of different looks. And so we'll see how the Cossacks come out and line it up. And they will spread it wide. Uh, out near side is uh, Colin Kramer at the near sideline and a wide out far side as well. I formation behind Lucas, the quarterback who works from under center. And here is the snap. First down looking to throw. We'll put it up in the air. Has a man downfield. And the uh, ball is caught at the 40-yard line by number 34, Cole, ha uh, Cole Haig. Haugi is, I guess, how you pronounce that. Uh, the senior, good for... A 33-yard pickup on the first play of the game, and uh, Haugie got behind the uh, 
cornerback over there for Ron Colley and made a nice catch falling backwards to haul it in. The ball at the 41-yard line, so a quick big strike here for Sioux Valley to start the football game. Same formation now, wideouts each way with... Lucas working under center and an eye formation behind him. And here's the snap, and again looking to throw. The pass goes to the sideline, and the pass is thrown incomplete out of bounds. Coverage over there uh, for Ron Colley made by Braden Hilton on the play. But the uh, that uh, far side receiver is uh, Haugie. Over on the far side, he's just run a couple of straight post routes down the sideline, and they're certainly looking for him, but uh, evidently some pretty good speed as he's been able to get a little bit of position on Hilton, the corner, providing the coverage. Second and ten, as the Cossacks have come out, expecting him to run first, but two pass plays to start the uh, football game. Huggy now wide near side, and a tight end up on the line of scrimmage. I formation once again. Lucas will hand it off inside to the fullback, and I believe that was London, who gets past the 40-yard line. We'll uh, spot it, looks like at about the 39, a gain of about two yards on the carry. And as they clear out the uh, pile, that was London on the carry, his first of the night. It'll bring up third, I'll call it a long seven for the Cossacks at the Ron Colley 39-yard line. Lucas comes near the sideline and will get the play call from the side. And the Cossacks in the huddle here, yet to break it. Now they'll make the play call. Haugie will split wide to the right. And again, a tight end up on the line of scrimmage is uh, Colin Kramer. I formation once again, the tailback Hayden Hall and Trevor London, the fullback. Lucas will take the snap and play action pass coming, and here's a big rush. And the screen play is complete to Hall, but uh, no gain, if anything, on the play. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage, but a nice job by the Cavaliers to sniff that one out. And stop it in its tracks. Uh, they're going to call it a gain of a yard for Hall, but not near enough for the first down. And so fourth and uh, seven here for Sioux Valley. And it looks like the Cossacks might be looking to go for it here, electing to maybe give it a, a shot as opposed to try to pin Ron Colley back deep. The Cossacks in the huddle. And uh, Sioux Valley will split Hauge out wide to the near side. I formation once again. Cavaliers up tight on the line defensively. And Lucas will take the snap, and here's the option. The pitch will come back to Hall, who tries to turn the corner, but does not as a nice job there by Lucas Lorenz. Or, excuse me, that was uh, number 24. That was Lorenz. Lorenz makes the stop over there. Hall uh, not able to get around the corner, and again, the Cavaliers with some good speed on the outside. Sniff that play out, looking for that option, and that was the call. No gain for Hall, and it will be a loss on downs for Sioux Valley. And so Ron Colley will come out and will take over first and 10 at their own 38-yard line. And Zach Lundquist and the Cavaliers will come out and line it up here first and 10. Single wing eye formation with Holzer wide to the left. Lundquist under center will pitch it back off to Lorenz, the tailback. He's got nice room, a first down, and pass midfield to the 45-yard line. 16-yard pickup for Lucas Lorenz on the carry, and again hit the line with a good burst of speed. Got past midfield in a hurry, and uh, again a nice hole opened up on that left side of the line. Schlosser, Manu, Mitzel, Andera, and Mog, the front five for Ron Colley on the line. Dan Gallagher now in the game will split wide near side. Single wing eye formation once again. Lundquist under center will take the snap and the pitch this time will come back to Dalton Cox and he turns it up and he's got room. A flag though in the backfield. Cox is going to be near a first down, but in that vicinity of holding, we'll see what the call is. Dalton Cox gets uh, down to the 36-yard line of Sioux Valley, but again a flag thrown back in the vicinity of holding and we'll get the call. As the officials will uh, indeed call a hold against Ron Colley uh, about a yard behind the line of scrimmage. So a costly one. Uh, Dalton Cox near a first down on the run, but the holding call will bring it back 10 yards, back to the Ron Colley 44. And so the Cavs will have it first at about 21 from the 44-yard line. Cavaliers will spread it out. Now trips to the left side of the line. Lundquist out of the shotgun with Hilton in the backfield on first and long. Here's the swing pass, and it's complete to Cox, who turns upfield, slips free of a tackle, past the 50, and run down at Sioux, uh, Sioux Valley's 48. A gain of about eight yards. 
on the pass play, getting a little bit of that uh, yardage back from the penalty. And uh, Cox run out of bounds, so the clock stops here with 9.01 to go first quarter. Cavaliers call a quick play, and we'll break the huddle. Second and 14 coming for Ron Colley. Trips to the near side now. And Braden McNary wide to the left. Lundquist again out of the shotgun. Fakes the give and now has to hurry it. And it hurries the pass and is picked off as a running back to the 50-yard line. A pick for Sioux Valley. Back there was uh, number 30, I believe, Brock Suartos, the linebacker. And uh, Zach was getting a rush inside and uh, really had to rush that throw. Didn't see Suartos there. And so Lundquist throws a pick. And Sioux Valley will get the ball back at midfield, forcing the first turnover of the night. So a big play for Sioux Valley. Just uh, three minutes into this football game, and the Cossacks will get the ball back in good field position after the pick. Haugie will split wide to the near side, and Sioux Valley will stay in that eye formation with Lane Lucas, the quarterback, working under center. We saw that the first series here for Sioux Valley. Here is the uh, fake give inside. Now Hall will work it off tackle right, and will get about four or five yards down into Ron Colley territory. They'll spot him down just shy of the 45-yard line. Hall give him a five-yard carry. It'll set up second and five. And the Cossacks are kind of deliberate here. Will take their time. And... Uh, here comes Sioux Valley breaking the huddle. Haugie wide near side. I formation once again behind him. And here is the uh, snap play action pass. A little dump over the middle is complete to the tall receiver, Colin Kramer. Kramer will go up above the uh, fray and grab the ball out of the air and then will tuck it down and will get ahead for 10 yards. Sioux Valley first down as Colin Kramer makes his first grab of the night. Just a quick little... Play action into the line, and then a lob over the middle, and Kramer, a tall kid out there, got to be a good 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, just reached up and plucked it out of the uh, air, and Sioux Valley has it first and 10 at the Ron Colley 35. Same formation, one tight end on the line, Hoggy wide to the near side, I set behind Lane Lucas. And here is the give, option play, they'll hand it off to the fullback. That is London, who will get about three or four yards... They'll spot him down at about the 30-yard line, so give him five-yard carry. And Trevor London will uh, get a get a nice gain there to the uh, Ron Colley 30-yard line. So Sioux Valley moving the football after the Ron Colley pick and are uh, driving into Cavalier territory second and five from the Ron Colley 30-yard line. Two tight ends on the line. I formation now behind Lucas. Here's the snap. And the give again to London, and not much there. He gets past the 35 for a gain of a yard or two, but then gets stood up, and uh, they'll mark his forward progress at about the 33. So a two-yard carry will set up third and three for the Cossacks. And uh, Sioux Valley here, certainly uh, with the ball just across midfield, going for it on fourth down, you got to figure the Cossacks are in four-down territory here. So a couple plays to make... Now they're going to call it officially third and four. And the Cavaliers rotate some faces in. And uh, Sioux Valley now will line it up. Again, same formation with a wing over on the right side. I've set behind and uh, play action pass coming. Here's the throw and the pass complete to Kramer. Looks like he got just enough for the first down. At, he's marked down at the 29-yard line, a five-yard pickup. Kramer knew where he had to get for the uh, for the first down. Got there, turns around, and comes up with the, uh, with the grab. And actually, the spot here is at the 24-yard line. I thought it was the uh, 29, but it's the 24. So a gain of uh, 10 on that play. And now the Cossacks will line it up, knocking on the Ron Colley door, first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Here is the snap, and again, the quarterback, Lucas, looks to throw. The pass is low, and do the Ron Colley says they have come up with a football. And let's see, I haven't seen the official make a uh, 
designation, but indeed it is. So Aberdeen Roncalli, I did not see who the uh, defensive back over there was, but I'm assuming it was Braden Hilton. Hilton uh, comes up with a pick over on the sideline, and so Aberdeen Roncalli will uh, bend but not break there. Sioux Valley drives, but the Cavaliers will take it over first and ten at the Cossacks or at their own 19-yard line. Here's a snap and a handoff into the line, and again, I believe by uh, Lundquist, the quarterback on the QB sneak right up the middle. And he gets ahead for five yards, reading that uh, empty coverage over the front. And so Zach Lundquist just takes it himself and gets ahead for five yards. Second and five at the Ron Colley 25-yard line. Single wing eye formation. Lundquist under center. And again, we'll keep it. And we'll uh, dive ahead out near a first down. Looks like he might be about a yard short, but a good four yards on that carry. Cavaliers just uh, snapping and taking it up the middle. Lundquist is uh, near a first down, and they do give it to him, as the official says uh, that uh, that it is enough for the first down. And the Cavaliers are already ready to go. The chains are now just set, so they'll blow it, and the Cavaliers go in a little hurry up here. First down and the give into the line. Not much there for the tailback. I believe that was Dalton Cox who gets the carry that time, and that hole closed up in a hurry. No gain for Cox on the handoff up the middle. So it'll be second and ten from the Ron Colley 30-yard line. 4.50 and counting to play first quarter. No score between Ron Colley and Sioux Valley. Wide near side, Lane Holzer splits for the Cavaliers. Single wing eye formation. Lundquist under center. We'll pitch it back, and they'll try to turn the outside. Cox has it at the 35, 40-yard line. Turns it up 45, and knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line. A gain of 17 for Dalton Cox. And uh, they're going to, uh, I'm not sure. There is a flag on the field, and they're calling a hold against Ron Colley. Oh, boy, that's a. That's a costly one, and I didn't see where the flag came out if it was late on the run. But uh, the Cavaliers get called for their second hold of the night, and it looks like uh, they're going to mark it. That came at the end of the play. Uh, again, a nice run of 17 for Cox, but they throw the flag at the 43-yard line. Instead of uh, a first down, it's going to be second and uh, six as that uh, again that holding call comes late in the carry to negate the night ru nice run by Dalton Cox Wayne Holzer will split wide left single wing eye Lorenz the wing back Cox the tailback and here's the snap and the pitch will come back to Lorenz excuse me the tailback he's got room and he's past the fray he's at midfield and on his feet and run out of bounds and uh, spot him out at the Sioux Valley 43-yard line. Suardos makes the hit, but not before a gain of 23 for Lucas Lorenz on that run. So Lorenz again gets to the edge and gets outside, and that's where the Cavaliers have had their success here tonight, uh, turning the corner and the big ends, or the big runs around the end. A couple of penalties have hurt Ron Colley, but uh, a big gainer there gets it into Sioux Valley territory. First down, and Lundquist will keep it himself. Drives to the 40-yard line, a gain of four yards on that carry. As, again, they read uh, no coverage up the middle, and Zach Lundquist, that's just his call. He'll take it and take it down to the 40-yard line. Second and six for Ron Colley at the Sioux Valley 40. 3.45 to go here, first quarter. No score in this one. As the Cavaliers and the uh, Cossacks each have a turnover here in this first quarter. Both quarterbacks throwing an interception. And Ron Colley now will break the huddle and will line it up on second and six. Holes are wide near side. Lorenz the wing back, Cox the tailback. And uh, Lundquist looking to throw, getting a rush, and is going to have to. He gets rid of it in time and will throw it downfield. And Cox has it, had, is running. There's a flag deep in the penalty area, downfield, away from the play. But Cox will take it all the way for the score. And uh, this one may come back. There is a flag down at the 15-yard line. I'm not sure if there was an illegal player downfield or what the call was. The play away from the uh, the flag away from the play. As Lundquist was going down, he chucks it off on the left side of the line to Dalton Cox. He takes it, cuts against the grain, and takes it all the way in for the score. But uh, waiting to see what the penalty is. 
at the 15-yard line, and the Ron Colley players are near the referee. And it uh, appears as though this penalty is against Sioux Valley. And so I've got to think that uh, Ron Colley's going to Going to take that one and uh, decline it and take the score instead. Holding is the call defensively against the Cossacks. And the uh, penalty will uh, be declined. And it's a 40-yard pass from Lundquist to Dalton Cox. Again, a nearly broken play. Cox made a heck of a run. And it is a 40-yard touchdown pass to get Ron Colley on the board here with 3-10 to play in this uh, first quarter. Sam Van Orman on for the point after kick. Logan Karst, the holder, as the Cavs try to cap this one off. An 81-yard drive, and the snap bobbled by Karst, and the ball loose, and that is uh, uh, no good on the point after, but Aberdeen Ron Colley does get six out of it as the Cavaliers take a 6-0 lead, 3-10 to go in this first quarter. An 81-yard drive on the Aberdeen Chrysler Drive summary. Back to Volga for the Ron Colley kickoff after we take a 30-second timeout. One of the biggest scoring events of the year is underway right now at the finishing touch. It's the Mohawk Anniversary Sale, giving you savings and rebates of up to $500 on Mohawk's Mark Strand Silk Carpeting and Armor Max Hardwood Flooring. This is a great opportunity for you to enjoy beautiful new flooring at a tremendous price and enjoy it for years to come. You can even get your carpeting installed for free. Hurry in to Finishing Touch today and get all the details. The Mohawk Anniversary Sale is going on now at Finishing Touch, 302 South 2nd Street in Aberdeen. Well, Aberdeen Chrysler brings you the drive summaries. Again, an 81-yard drive by Ron Colley. And uh, the penalty actually is assessed on the kickoff here, so Sam Van Orman will kick it off from midfield. But, again, a great play. Uh, it looked like a broken play. Zach, Zach Lundquist looked like he was going to get sacked and thrown for a big loss. Gets rid of it as he's going down to Dalton Cox over in the left flat. He had a couple players ahead of him. Cuts against the green. Takes it all the way to the house from 40 yards out. Dives in over the near sideline pylon. So a 40-yard pass ran about 65 to get that one in, but the Cavaliers a 6-0 lead, and now we'll boot it away to the Cossacks. Van Orman will uh, approach, and the end-over-end kick will be uh, on the ground, and it's bobbled by Hall down at, near the goal line. Hall will pick it up and is swarmed under at the uh, inside the 5-yard line, and boy, a great hit over there. I think it looked like McNary leveled the boom as Hall had a hard time coming up with the football, and uh, got it back just in the nick of time. But Sioux Valley will uh, be downed at the six-yard line as the official spot. And so Sioux Valley will take over deep in their own territory with 3.03 to go here in this first quarter, trying to match the Ron Colley score the first of the night. So the Cossacks huddling up in their end zone will break it out and will line it up. Lane Lucas, the quarterback, again, will work under center and a little triple auction wishbone look in the backfield here on first and ten. And here is the snap, and the uh, run uh, handoff off the right side of the line goes to Hall. He is ahead for, oh, it looks like about three yards. He'll spot him down just shy of the 10-yard line. Actually, yeah, they'll spot him at the 8, so a two-yard gain for Hayden Hall on that run. And I'll try to do my best here. We're at a side line, sideways angle here, so tough to see the yard and the spot at this particular point on the field for Sioux Valley. Cossacks will come out second and seven, and again we'll show that wishbone look in the backfield. Lucas under center, and this time the give comes right. That is Brock Suardos, and nothing there, as a nice job by Braden McNary to come up and sniff that play out from the cornerback slot. McNary uh, bringing a little pressure, and it looks like no gain for Suardos on his first carry of the night. So... Yeah, about a half yard. They're gonna, still going to be shy of the 10. Third and about five here. Third and six make it for Sioux Valley. And a uh, big play coming here. Sioux Valley had some luck going over the middle uh, to their big tight end, Colin Kramer, on a couple of occasions. Kramer lines up, up on the line. And again, Sioux Valley will stay with that wishbone-type formation behind Lucas, the quarterback. Lucas under center, and will give it off to the fullback. That's Lundin, and he will be brought down short of the 15-yard line, but he might be near a first down. We'll see where the spot is. Lundin, a good hard run into the line. And this one will be 
short by about a yard or less. And uh, looks like they're going to call for a measurement and bring the chains clear across the field. Kind of tough to see from here <laughs> how close he is, but the sideline uh, ball marker is very near that front stick. And uh, now a little bit of confusion over there by the chain gang as far as uh, if they're going to bring it out or what. But uh, I think Coach Dosh, no, somebody's down there behind the uh, chain gang as they bring it out over on the far sideline. I'm not sure if it was a Ron Colley coach or what it was, but a little bit of discussion before they bring the chains out and stretch them out. And again, this one clear across the field. So they'll stretch the chain, and uh, looks like he's about a foot short, foot or so, <laughs> as near as we can tell from our vantage point. But fourth and short, you're deep inside your own 15-yard line, and decision time coming here for Sioux Valley. If they go for it on fourth and short or punt it away, uh, the kicker would be in the end zone, and Sioux Valley is huddled up like they're going to go for it here. Um... Yeah, and you got to think, you know, they're going to try to draw you off sides, but we'll see what the what the count is here. A minute 10 and counting to go first quarter. 6 nothing, fourth and a foot for Sioux Valley at their own 14-yard line. And here is the snap, and uh, going into the line, I don't think Lane Lucas tried to dive ahead and get it, but it looked like a great surge from the Ron Colley defensive front, and I don't think he got it. It looks like he was taken back, and it looks like Lucas absorbed the brunt of that, and uh, no, check that uh, number 20, I'm not sure, number 70, I think, uh, Tree Blosser, the center, uh, took a little shot there, and uh, now they're going to bring the chains out once again, and we'll see what the spot is. It, it's hard to tell where that front surge came and where his forward progress got him, but They'll bring the chains out all the way across the field again, but it looked like Ron Colley's front line made a great surge, stood him up, and I don't know if he got past the original line of scrimmage. He was about a foot short, and now they'll extend it out, and he is short of the first down, and so a costly gamble here for Sioux Valley. They uh, lose it inside their own 15-yard line. Ron Colley will have it first and 10, with the ball at the 14-yard line. And so the Cavaliers' defense makes a huge stop. And Ron Colley now in golden position here to maybe do a little bit more damage up by a 6-0 lead. At 1.02 to go in this uh, first quarter. Lundquist under center, power set, and here is the give to Cox. Big hole up the middle, and he rumbles in untouched. From 14 yards out, a huge hole opened up the middle by Aberdeen Ron Colley's front line. Uh, give credit up front to Schlosser, Manu, Mitzel, opening up a big hole, and Dalton Cox takes it 14 yards for the score. And again, a, a big surge by the Ron Colley defense, and you got to wonder if that took a little bit of uh, wind out of Sioux Valley's sails as they gave it up on downs. A 12 nothing lead with 58 seconds to go now in this uh, first quarter, and Ron Colley will line up and go for two. Power formation, three backs in the backfield. Lundquist under center will give it off to Lorenz. He kind of stumbles as he gets it, but dives ahead and is uh, in for the score. And Lorenz with the two-point run, and Aberdeen Ron Colley a one-play, 14-yard drive. Dalton Cox, his second TD of the night. And the Cavaliers have a 14-0 lead. Back with your kickoff from Volga after we take a 30-second timeout. Why Pearson Ford? Well, it's easier to ask why not. Pearson Ford is the area's fleet price Ford dealer. We have a full lineup of the best-selling truck in America for 36 years running. Here's a pen if you need one. The Ford mm -hmm. is number one in America. Well <laughs> I got a million of them, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other Ford products like the Edge, the Focus, the Fusion, the Escape, and more. And on the pre-owned side, we carry all makes and models. And don't forget, we're the home of the 100% finance guarantee. Pearson Ford in the Auto Plaza. See PearsonFord.com. Well, the Aberdeen Chrysler Drive summary, 14 yards, one play. Dalton Cox, a huge hole up the middle. Give credit to the offensive line there as Cox goes in untouched for the score. And then Lucas Lorenz, a two-point run, giving the Cavaliers a 14 to nothing lead. 
And again, a uh, costly gamble by Sioux Valley. They go for it on fourth and short inside their own 15-yard line and do not make it, giving the Cavaliers outstanding position and the short field. And now here is the short kick up and grabbed by Colin Kramer. He's going to fall down at the 39-yard line, and Sioux Valley will have it in decent field position after that short kickoff. 50 seconds to go first quarter, and the Cavaliers have scored on their last two drives, and now it looks like... uh, the receiver on that uh, kickoff might be down. Uh, not sure if the wind got knocked out of him. Kramer's up. I don't know if it was Kramer that had the football, but at any rate, very near where the uh, play ended, a Sioux Valley player on his back. And so the coaching staff out there attending to him. And uh, I think just making sure, but it looks like he just got the wind knocked out of him. It is... Number 11 for Sioux Zuval- Valley, Zach Petz. A, uh, not sure how old he is, but uh, Petz on that kick return team will get up, and it looked like he just uh, may have gotten the wind knocked out of him or his bell rung a little bit, but he'll come off under his own power. Cossacks now will start out the drive first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. Lane Lucas, the quarterback, waiting for the signal from the sideline. And a new face in for Sioux Valley, Hunter Teachin, will come into the line. And uh, the Cossacks still waiting for the play to come. And now Lucas will go to the uh, huddle, count everybody up. And, uh, boy, this is taking a long time. And... The count is on here. Sioux Valley is not even going to get to the line of scrimmage before this play is called for a delay of game. And uh, I think the Cossacks did just call a timeout there. And so we will take a double D body shop timeout ourselves. 50 seconds to go first quarter. A 14-0 Ron Colley lead back to Volga in one minute. Why make Rivera Aberdeen Family Physicians your family's health care provider? Dr. Stiegler, Bach, Knapp, Mogan, Pete, Snow, and Walsh are committed to their patients, and together they provide our region with a wide spectrum of services. From routine wellness exams, sudden <coughs> illnesses or injuries, including adults, pediatric, and geriatric care. Call 225-0378 to schedule your appointment with one of our seven board-certified physicians today. A Vera Aberdeen Family Physician. We specialize in your family's health care. Dr. John Carroll's and Dr. Mark Bain of Carroll's and Bain Family Dental Care are providing complete family dental care from kids to adults. From cleanings to fillings, root canals, crowns, cosmetic dentistry, and as always, emergencies are seen promptly. At Carroll's and Bain Family Dental Care, new patients are always welcome. Conveniently open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. at 805 South State Street. Call to make your appointment at 225-1192. That's 225-1192. Good luck, Aberdeen Run County Cavaliers. Sioux Valley now will uh, step up first and ten, and the give to the line goes nowhere as Ron Colley's front makes a great surge again as uh, trying to uh, bounce it off the right side of the line, I believe was Hayden Hall. Hall stopped for no gain, actually a loss of about a half yard. And 30 seconds to go here first quarter. We'll see if the Cossacks run one more play as time continues to roll here. Sioux Valley will break the huddle. And 23 seconds and counting up on the clock. Three back, check that, two back set. I formation with a wing back over on the right side of the line. Lucas under center, and there's movement, and uh, nobody threw a flag. Oh, wow. (laughs) Then here's side tight end was uh, two steps downfield, and no flag thrown on that play, and it goes really nowhere. So, and... uh, Manu makes the stop, and no gain on that carry for Sioux Valley. So uh, time will run down, and that is your first quarter of play. 14-0 Ron Colley after one. Back to Volga with more high school football right here on Pheasant Country 103 in one minute. Cool morning. Fog. Frost. Wow. The pollen allergic celebrate. Leaves fall. Grass dies. Harvest begins. And the most. Scott? Yeah. It's uh, 7 to 6 Central after one. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Not if it lasts longer than 10 days. Not if you're coughing at night. Not if you're coughing with exercise. Not if you're coughing in the cold air. Is it allergy? Is it asthma? This is Dr. Tom Nazir at Aberdeen Asthma Allergy. 
Time to find out. Good luck to all the athletes from NBC. We're your local high-speed internet, cable TV, telephone, and cell phone provider. It's superior local network coverage. Now offering areas only national unlimited data plan, starting at just $59.95 per month. Talk, download, tweet, update, brag as much as you want. Visit our retail store at nbc.net for info. Or call 725-1000. That's 725-1000. Back in Volga as the uh, Roncalli Cavaliers have jumped out to a 14-0 first quarter lead on Sioux Valley. We get ready for the start of the second quarter. Sioux Valley facing a third and 10 from their own 39-yard line. Cossacks have tried a couple runs that have gone nowhere, and now a big third down decision coming here. A wing back set with an eye formation behind Lane Lucas, the quarterback, and uh, Lucas' play-action pass will roll to his left, fire it over the middle, and it is complete. Near a first down, but a nice stop there at the end of the play, and depends on the spot. Lane Holzer makes the stop, and it looks like it's a nine-yard pickup as uh, looked like uh, the receiver there, Cole Hauge, number 34, making his second grab of the night, is going to be stopped just short of the... Uh, of the first down, and so Sioux Valley now on fourth down. Hasn't punted here tonight. Got to think they'll probably go for it here again. If they go for it at their own 14, they're certainly going to go for it near midfield, and that's what the Cossacks will do. Wing back set, and here is the give off the left side of the line. Looks like the forward progress for Hall does get him to the 50-yard line, a one-yard carry. Tell you what, though, uh, Sioux Valley, again, coming up to the line, really scrambling. Didn't look like they were set, but uh, we have not seen many flags here tonight, and they didn't throw one there, and the chains move as Sioux Valley will convert on fourth down and will have a fresh set of downs with the ball right at the 50-yard line. Clock will start back up. Cossacks down by a 14-0 score, kind of an important drive here for them. Trying to get back uh, within one score. Wishbone formation for the Cossacks, and here is the snap. And uh, the give goes to the left side, and a big hole over there for Brock Suardos, the third option out of that wishbone, and he gets ahead down to the uh, 45-yard line, a five-yard pickup on his second carry of the night. So Suardos will get Sioux Valley into Ron Colley territory. Ball just shy of the 45-yard line. Second and five, a minute gone here in the second quarter. And again, Ron Colley on top by a 14-0 score. Wishbone set once again. As Lucas gets under center, two tight ends on the line. Long snap count and some movement and a whistle before the play is snapped, which would indicate maybe a false start here by Sioux Valley. But Ron Colley really dancing over on the defensive line. They may have encroached, and that's what they're going to call. An encroachment call against the Cavaliers. And... Uh, this one will come ahead five yards and will uh, set up second and about six inches to go here for Sioux Valley. Roncalli there kind of active before the snap. And uh, now Sioux Valley will break the huddle. Referees signaling for the clock to go. They haven't started it back up yet. And uh, the official's still out there showing, and now they do. Uh, I formation behind... Lane Lucas and the handoff up the middle, just enough for the first down, as getting stacked at the line was the ball carrier, but uh, I believe that was Suardos with the kick, or rather with the, the carry. A one-yard gain, and Landon Haline makes a nice tackle on him, but he fell ahead for about six inches, which is what he needed for the first down. And so the chains will move, and it'll be first and 10 Sioux Valley at the Ron Colley 40. Cossacks break the huddle and will go back to that three-back formation in the wishbone set. Two tight ends up on the line, nobody wide. Here's the snap, and the give again to Suardos left, and Suardos will get ahead for about three yards. Third option in that, and again, it's kind of hard when everybody's countering to pick that football out, as Lucas does a pretty good job disguising it, but that time a three-yard carry for Suardos will make it second and seven. Sioux Valley goes back to the huddle, calls it quickly, and now will break to the line. London, or Lundin, rather, the uh, fullback 
And Sioux Valley again showing run here. And here is the snap and the give option play. And boy, the Cavaliers sniffed that play out as uh, Dalton Cox got to the uh, lead back, Lundeen. And uh, Lu- Lane Lucas, the quarterback, still hanging on to the football, gets uh, swarmed under by Braden McNary. And uh, Lane Holzer there. A whole host of Cavaliers. I think Braden Hilton came up as well. So a good front surge by the Cavs. Lane Lucas will be thrown for a loss of a yard, and it should have been a lot more than that, I thought, as it looked like he came down well behind the line of scrimmage. Third and 11 for Sioux Valley. Again, wishbone look here, and Lucas will take the snap, will pitch it back to Hall, and he gets tripped up. A great job by Landon Hayline to trip up Hayden Hall as he tries to uh, take it upfield. A loss of about three yards for Hall on that carry. And the Ron Colley defense... Pushes Sioux Valley back, and now for the first time tonight, the Cossacks will bring the punt team out and will kick it away with 8.20 and counting to go here in this first half. Trying to pin Ron Colley back deep. And uh, the punter here for Sioux Valley is uh, Tyler Tofty, standing back at the uh, Sioux Valley 45 to await the snap. Snap is low, and it's on the ground, and Tofty falls on it. And the Cavaliers... Will uh, touch Tofty as he covers up the football, and Aberdeen Roncalli will uh, take advantage here on the muffed punt. It was a low snap, and Tofty never picked it up off the ground. And the Cavaliers now will take over first and ten at the Sioux Valley 44-yard line. And again, it's been uh, the Cavaliers getting most of the breaks here tonight. And Ron Colley now will line it up first and ten, trying to build on this 14-0 lead. Lundquist from the shotgun, three receiver set, and here's the give to Hilton, who goes nowhere. A great job by Hall to shed his block and get Hilton in the backfield. Cavaliers had three receivers spread, and then Hilton in the backfield coming across. They try to give him the football, but he gets brought down for a loss of about four yards as Hall had that play sniffed out. No huddle here for the Cavs. Four receiver set, and Lundquist will take the shotgun snap. Rolls to his right, and now will uh, fire it downfield complete at the 41-yard line. A pickup of seven yards on the play as McNary comes up with the grab. Braden McNary's first catch of the night, and it will be bring up third and about seven here for Ron Colley. So the Cavaliers get uh, half of it. And Ron Colley again will go no huddle. Trips to the near side. McNary wide right. Here's the snap. And Lundquist with some time will fire it over the middle. And it's picked off. It's not grabbed by Hall. And a good job there by the Ron Colley receiver to break it up. Because that looked like interception number two. But Dalton Cox puts the hit on Hall as he had the ball in his hands. And Dalton Cox breaks up that play right there. And uh, saves an interception. Ron Colley now will... Booted away here on a three and out. Lucas Lorenz dropping back into punt formation. And will await the snap just uh, into Ron Colley territory at midfield. So the Cavs can't do anything after the missed uh, muff snap by Sioux Valley. And Lorenz now will get a nice snap here. And will put a kick off to the left. And a nice job by Lorenz. It's going to roll sideways and roll dead at the four. How he does that is beyond me, but... Again, last year and this year as well, Lucas Lorenz really knows how to stop that football as he puts the spin on it. And Sioux Valley will have it first and 10 at their own four-yard line after a great punt by Lorenz. 6.53 to go first half, a 14-0 Aberdeen Ron Colley lead over Sioux Valley. And the Cossacks again facing a 96-yard drive for their first score of the night. And we'll see how Sioux Valley comes out here. They've gone with a lot of that wishbone-type look with the three running backs, and that's how they'll line it up here on first and ten deep in their own territory. Lane Lucas, the quarterback, under center, takes a quick snap. will give it off to Hall. He tries to dance around inside. Not much there. Gets to the five, maybe a little bit past, but only a couple yards on that carry. Again, a good job by Ron Colley up front, uh, standing it up. Um, in there for the Cavs, Matt uh, Schlosser in on the defensive side of the football, kind of plugging that middle gap. A two-yard gain for Hall will make it second and eight. 
Kosick will break the huddle. And will line it up with an eye formation. Wing back is Lundin over on the left side of the line. Two tight ends up on the line as well. And here's a pass rolling to the left. Out of the end zone, the pass downfield for Kramer is overthrown. Two white shirts there to defend. Kramer, the intended target downfield, but uh, Lane Lucas sails it over his head incomplete. And it'll set up third and eight for Sioux Valley at their own six-yard line. And the Cavaliers trying to make a stop here, and again on the only punt attempt tonight here for Sioux Valley, a low snap resulted in no kick for the Cossacks. And now uh, Sioux Valley will bring a player into the football game, uh, Zach Petz, who was hurt on a kickoff earlier, so good to see him back in the game. Petz will line up as an offensive tackle. Wide outs each way. Kramer wide left. Hauge wide near side. And split backs in the backfield. Here is the quarterback, Lucas, with a little swing pass inside. And the uh, catch made by Kramer, but it looks like uh, he is going to be near a first down. The put hit put on immediately over there by Hilton. But uh, Kramer at 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six at least. And it looks like, uh, again, short of the first down. Fourth and about a foot here, and the officials are going to call for a measurement as uh, the pass play made by Lucas to uh, Colin Kramer. And they'll bring the chains out and measure this one, but a similar situation in the first quarter. Fourth and a foot to go at the Sioux Valley 14. The Cossacks go for it, didn't get it, and Ron Colley scored on their first snap on the uh, ensuing series. And yeah, he's a good foot and a half short here. And so will Sioux Valley roll the dice again? Down 14 nothing. The ball at their own 14 yard line. And Sioux Valley will come out to the huddle and it looks like they're going to go for it again. First and 10, or excuse me, fourth and a foot, excuse me, uh, at their own 14 yard line. And again, we'll see if uh, Sioux Valley tries to draw Ron Colley off. Lucas under center. I formation behind him. And here's the snap and the give into the line. And boy, there wasn't much there. And it's all going to depend on the spot once again. The handoff into the uh, right side of the line. Swartos, uh, the ball carrier. And uh, it's just going to depend where the official spots it. And again, it looks like they're going to call for a measurement. And so the Ron Colley defense, again, does a great job. Plugging up the middle on fourth and a foot. And the chains will come out and they'll extend them and see if uh, Sordos was able to pick up the first down on this particular carry. And they'll extend it out and he doesn't have it. It is Ron Colley football once again. The Cavaliers for the second time tonight have stopped Sioux Valley on fourth and a foot deep in Sioux Valley territory. And Aberdeen, Ron Colley will take it over again on downs at the Sioux Valley 14-yard line. And officially, I guess they're going to call it the 12 at any rate. Deep in Sioux Valley territory, the Cavaliers will get the ball back with a 14-0 lead and a golden opportunity here to expand this lead. Wide near side holes are way off the line. I formation, single wing set. Lundquist, the quarterback, will keep it himself and will dance down to midfield or down... The, through the middle of the line, gets inside the 10, and we'll check the spot here. It looks like he may have gotten inside the five yard line, actually right on the five. A gain of seven on the QB keeper by Zach Lundquist. Taking it up the middle, second and two from the four yard line. And Ron Colley will line it up once again with a power look in the backfield. Three running back set, Lundquist under center. Takes the snap, and the give will go to Lorenz, and Lorenz will dive ahead, got positive yards, but did not get the end zone off the left tackle. Nice stop over there for Sioux Valley, made by Matt Larson, the freshman linebacker. But it is enough for a first down, as Lorenz is brought down inside the two-yard line. And so first and goal for Aberdeen Ron Colley. At about the one-and-a-half-yard line, Cavaliers will have four chances here from a yard out. And again, I formation, 
Kind of that wishbone look for Ron Colley. Lundquist under center takes the snap. The give to Braden Hilton up the middle, and he will take it in for the score. Braden Hilton, the one-yard TD run as uh, Ron Colley showed that wishbone look kind of that uh, Sioux Valley's had here tonight. And the quick hitter up the middle goes to Braden Hilton. And with 4.16 to go, Aberdeen Ron Colley again takes advantage of the uh, Sioux Valley decision to go for it deep in their own territory. And the Cavaliers take advantage on another short field drive. Sam Van Orman on for the point after kick. Snap this time a little short, but the kick is up, and it looks like he got enough to sneak it through. A low line drive kick, but it is good. And Aberdeen Ron Colley takes a 21 to nothing lead again. Thanks to the short field, 21-0, a 12-yard drive on your Aberdeen Chrysler Drive summary. Cavaliers extend it to a 21-zip lead. We're back to Volga for the kickoff after a 30-second break. And now the top five reasons to use band meter facility maintenance in your business. Five, offering the finest commercial cleaning with flexibility and competitive rates. Four, references available. Three, fully insured and bonded. Money stays in Aberdeen, not somewhere else. Two, eight full-time and four part-time employees who go through background checks. And the number one reason you should use band meter facility maintenance in your business. Locally owned and operated, providing commercial cleaning for 30 years. Call band meter facility maintenance today at 226-1995. 226-1995. Again, a 12-yard touchdown drive for Ron Colley. Second time tonight, Sioux Valley's gone for it fourth and short inside their 15-yard line. The second time they've failed, and the Cavaliers have taken advantage. A 21-0 Ron Colley lead now with 4.16 to go here in this first half of play. And Sam Van Orman set to kick it off, and Sioux Valley really going to have to... Uh, Get after it here this drive. The Cavaliers will have the football to start out the second half. Van Orman will boot it away. Low line drive kick taken by an up man, and he's just going to fall on it at the 35-yard line. And so Sioux Valley will cover it up, protect the football, and will come out trying to get, you know, the, the Cossacks have moved the football here tonight, but have uh, hurt themselves not being able to convert on some fourth down plays and... Uh, an interception thrown in there as well, and a muff punt thrown in there as well tonight. So the Cavaliers, again, an opportunistic football team, have done that here in this first half, and it's helped them take this 21-0 lead. Cossacks have come out now first and 10, again, showing a little power run. Three running backs set, wishbone formation, two tight ends on the line. Here's the snap and the give off the left tackle is Sordos, and he goes nowhere, brought down for no gain. And Landon Hayline put a licking on uh, Sordos, who's, who's late to get up, and now Sordos will stand up. But uh, actually a loss of a yard on that carry by Brock Sordos. Second and 11, the ball at the Sioux Valley 34, 345 and counting to go here in this first half of play. One other score uh, that we do have here tonight, Aberdeen Central last report on top of Huron, 7-6 at the end of the first quarter. That game at Swisher Field in Aberdeen, senior night for the Eagles. Colin Hauge will, uh, Cole Hauge rather, splits wide near side. Single wing eye formation. Lucas will hand it off to the tailback hall, and he is brought down for no gain. Uh, looks like maybe a loss of a yard. Boy, deep in the backfield again. Hayline has been all over on the defensive side, and Hayline brings him down for a loss. Yeah, they're going to maybe a half get half yard loss. And uh, Hayden Hall having a tough time getting in gear here tonight. And Landon Hayline making, a, again, a, a strong case for uh, the reason why. Hayline has been all over the place here on the run stop tonight. Split backs now behind... Lane Lucas on third and 11, and looking to throw. Here's the swing pass, and it's uh, intended for Hauge, and the pass is uh, broken up, incomplete. Hauge there, uh, the intended receiver, McNary there on the coverage, and the, the play uh, is an incomplete pass, and so with 2.34, Ron Colley will get the ball back. McNary back deep will await the kick, and uh, again, the only other... Punt attempt here tonight resulted in a bad snap and a Ron Colley recovery. McNary back at his own 30. This time the snap, a good one, and here's a low wobbly kick. McNary will have a chance to return it at the 40-45 and wrestle down right at midfield. 
And so Ron Colley with uh, 2.31 to go will take over with a 21 to nothing lead and a chance here to try to get something done with a quick score late. And again, the Cavaliers kicked off to start the game, should have the football to start the second half. And so we'll see if Ron Colley goes to that two-minute offense here and tries to make something happen. Cavaliers will show spread with Holzer, Cox, and Lorenz wide right. Lundquist from the shotgun. Will roll to his right, fires it up, and has it complete to Lorenz. Puts the shoulder down and will get out of bounds at the uh, Sioux Valley 42-yard line, a gain of eight. Lucas Lorenz, an eight-yard reception. His first pickup of the night through the air. And so second and two, clock stops here with 2.21 to go in the first half. And the Cavaliers, I believe, have all three timeouts left. Cavs, again, will load up trips to the right. Lundquist out of the shotgun with Hilton in the backfield. And here is the snap and a quick hitter go to Hilton, who's got a first down, runs it right, and will get out. The uh, Cossacks really brought pressure from the right side. Lundquist a high snap, but put it right in the belly of Hilton, who gets ahead for the first down to the 37-yard line, a carry of five yards for Braden Hilton on that run. Again, getting out of bounds. Clock stops with 2.14 to go. And Ron Colley now first and 10. We'll line it up. And a whistle and a timeout called by Sioux Valley with 2.14 to go as uh, Dan Hughes didn't like what he saw there. And so we will take a double D body shop timeout ourselves. 2.14 to go first half, 21 nothing Cavaliers. Ron Colley has the football first and 10 at the Sioux Valley 37 when we return in a minute. <laughs> When you realize you're having a heart attack, you don't have a lot of time to research what you should do. Hey, Scott? Yeah. Um, Central is still up uh, 7 to 6 at halftime over here. Okay. And then um, Ipswich and then Central lead 14 to 8 over Fulton and the 1. Ipswich is ahead? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I'm going to check that. Two is there. Okay. Yeah, that's what it says. Alright. First and ten for Ron Colley at the Sioux Valley 37, 214 to go here. First half. Trips near side. Lundquist from the shotgun. And we'll take the snap, rolls left, fires it up, and has it to Cox complete. Spins at the uh, 20 or 30-yard line and then gets ahead for a first down to about the 25. Kind of a dangerous move by Cox there. Had to go up high to get the pass, then did a 360. Spins around but uh, gets ahead for an extra three or four yards after the catch. And a 13-yard pass play. And uh, Dalton Cox with his second reception of the night. The Cavaliers another first down. And with... Uh, 2.04 to go, the chains move, and uh, it looks like a timeout on the field is called here, and Ron Colley calling this timeout. We'll keep it here. We've got a couple score updates to pass your way here tonight. Uh, Aberdeen Central leading here on 7-6 at halftime at Swisher Field, and uh, Ipswich in our Sunny 97 game of the week. Uh, Ipswich, Edmond Central leading Falkton 14-8 at the end of the first quarter. And uh, a bit of an upset there as Falkton uh, kind of in control of their own playoff destiny. And Ipswich uh, just one win on the year. But uh, early in that game, the Tigers have jumped out to the early lead. And uh, right now, another update. 28 uh, nothing Groton leading Teos Pazina. Uh, not sure where that game is at. But uh, at any rate, the Tigers are on top in that football game in Groton tonight. And Aberdeen Roncalli, after the timeout, will... Uh, Huddle it or line it up first and ten at the Sioux Valley uh, 25 yard line. Cavs up 21 0 and trying to build on it here. Four receiver set. Lundquist from the shotgun will get a snap, gets it complete to Cox, who uh, fights for uh, a yardage, but a good tackle over there again by Matt Larson, the freshman. Cox uh, makes the catch. Larson grabs him by the legs and hangs on until he gets help. A six yard pass play as. Uh, Cox stays inbounds, 
second and four coming here for Ron Colley at the Sioux Valley 19. Shotgun snap once again. Lundquist will roll to his left. Now we'll put it up downfield, has it complete, and the uh, ball caught by Lucas Lorenz. The Sioux Valley uh, coaching staff wanting a throw past the line of scrimmage, and now the flight comes out late. And I'm not sure what, uh, if that is the call or if something was said late. The flag literally came out 10 to 15 seconds after the play was done. And uh, Ron Colley wanting a face mask. And I think they did call. Uh, you know, they called him past the line of scrimmage with the pass. And the Ron Colley. Coaching staff wanting a face mask call on Lorenz at the end of that play. No flag thrown there. So uh, Lundquist gets called for the penalty, throwing the ball past the line of scrimmage. And that'll bring it back to the 14, or excuse me, the 24 yard line. Third and nine for Ron Colley at the Sioux Valley 24. A minute 25 to go. Four receivers set. Lundquist from the shotgun. Sioux Valley again will uh, bring one. Lundquist with time, though, will put it up. Airs it up. And a nice throw to the end of the end zone. And there's a flag in the uh, end zone on defensive pass interference. Lundquist's pass will be incomplete. And uh, Looks like there will be a flag two flags there. are thrown over there. We'll better make sure of the call. Uh, but it looked like uh, those, those uh, flags are coming from both officials down in the end zone. And they're going to call... Pass interference on Sioux Valley in the end zone. So that should give Ron Colley the automatic first down, and I think it's a 15-yard penalty here. So it'll give the Cavaliers the football inside the 10. With Check that, just outside the 10. They call it a... Uh, a uh, Pass interference call against Sioux Valley at any rate. Ball comes ahead, automatic first down, and Ron Colley first and 10 at the Sioux Valley 11-yard line. One twelve to go and two timeouts left for the Cavs as well. Single wing eye formation, Lundquist under center will take the snap. Here's the pitch, and they're going to fake the reverse. Cox will keep it, and it throws up the defense. Cox will put his head down, blow over the defender, and take it in for the score. A nice job on the fake reverse. Cox did it. Uh, had the football, does a good job bootlegging it, and it really throws up the Sioux Valley defense. And then at the end, Cox, one man to beat, just lowers his head and runs right over the defender. Dalton Cox has his third touchdown of the night tonight, his second touchdown run. And so uh, with 103 to go, the Cavaliers tack on six more, and the Cavaliers, again, should get the ball to start out the second half as well. Point after kick, snap is a good one. The ball is up, and it is good. And the Cavaliers have a 28 to nothing lead over Sioux Valley. A minute three to play here in this first half on the Aberdeen Chrysler Drive summary. 50 yards with Dalton Cox taking it in from 11 yards out. 28 nothing, Ron Colley. We're back to Volga for the kick in 30 seconds. Four certified doctors: James McDougal, Matthew Lyman, James Manstone, Donald Frisco, Danny Wolfgram, Patrick Miller, Brandon Price, and James Johnson salute all area sports and their athletes. OSS is the foremost provider of comprehensive orthopedic care in the region, offering a complete range of services with specialties in spine, foot and ankle, shoulder and elbow sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. OSS features an urgent care facility and Aberdeen physical therapy for your treatment of orthopedic injuries. Let the staff with orthopedic surgery specialists help you keep. 701 Northwest in Aberdeen. Well, again, Aberdeen Ron Colley has uh, cranked up the offense off to a slow start tonight, but the Cavs have taken advantage of uh, some short fields here. This last drive, a 50 yard drive. Cavaliers go to their two minute offense, run it well, and score with a minute three to go. And so, uh, again, only used one timeout along the way, just did a good job using sideline and and moving it down methodically, Dalton Cox, the 11-yard touchdown run. Cox's third TD of the night, his second rushing touchdown. And so now the Cavaliers will kick it away with 103 to go in this first half of play. A commanding 28 to nothing lead. And again, they don't want to give up the big play here before halftime. Cavs want to keep the pedal to the metal here and keep the pressure on. Sam Van Orman approaches the football, a short kick. Taken by an up man, and uh, he tries to run away with it, but uh, gets brought down on the reception. Lane Lucas, the quarterback, up on the front line of that uh, 
front line of that uh, kick return team and the officials now coming over to uh, talk to the Sioux Valley sideline the ball at the Cossack 42 yard line with 59 seconds left to go here in this first half of play Cossacks will break the huddle and we'll see how they attack it here Sioux Valley had some luck with the pass game early and they may have to be uh, going back to that here. Wideouts each way, split backfield, Lane Lucas under center. And Lucas drops straight back to throw, and the ball is knocked away. Good job there by Zach Andera to get his hand in the passing lane and knock it down as they tried the little swing pass to Haugie over on the near side, and Andera, providing the rush from the end, got his mitts on it and knocks it away. So the clock will stop, second and ten for Sioux Valley as... Uh, the Cossacks will huddle it up, and the play clock starts here with 55 seconds to go. Clock stopped on the incomplete pass, but the play clock is running here. Haugie will split wide near side. Colin Kramer will go wide to the left. I formation now behind Lucas, who continues to work under center. Here's the snap and the give, or the option play. Pitched back off to Hayden Hall, and Hall will uh, get ahead for positive yards, run out of bounds at the 46-yard line, a gain of four yards on the carry. So Hall gets around the edge, and uh, that's his second longest run of the night tonight. The Cavaliers have done a good job in run defense. Uh, Four-yard pickup will make it third and six for Sioux Valley at their own 47-yard line. And the Cossacks now will again call a play here, try to move the chains, and we'll see if they try for a quick strike here. Colin Kramer, a tough guard, a tall sophomore receiver, lining up far wide right. Cole Haugie wide to the near short side of the field. And there's movement, and now they've got to call that one. There was some earlier that uh, you could see the guys moving, but boy, this time the ball hadn't moved, and uh, they do call the false start against Sioux Valley here. So that'll bring back uh, five yards, and now set up third and ten, and certainly you got to figure a pass play, and down 28 nothing. It may be four down territory the rest of the night for Sioux Valley. We'll see how they come out and attack this one here. But, uh, again, the Cossacks have uh, gone for it a number of times on have come up short on fourth down. But right now, when you're down four scores, uh, we'll see what Sioux Valley does. Hoggy wide near side. Kramer lines up on the line at the tight end spot. And now here is a screen play that the uh, Cavaliers see it. And here is uh, the pass complete to Lundeen, and he will be brought out of bounds at about the uh, line of scrimmage, maybe a yard ahead. Not much. The Cavaliers saw that screen play coming. And uh, they're going to say it's a complete pass, but no gain on the play. So Lundeen's first pass reception, but it goes for nothing. And it'll set up actually a loss of about a yard. And so, fourth down here, the Cossacks will line up in punt formation with 40 seconds to go in the half. Braden McNary awaits the snap, and you know the Cavaliers will try to get a score on here before the end of the half. Tyler Tofty awaits the snap. We'll get the kickoff. Here's a high end over end kick. Again, McNary should have a chance to return it. 32 yard line and uh, gets snowed under at about the 35. Tried to make a move, but just uh, had nowhere to go with it. And so Ron Colley will get the ball <coughs> spotted at their 35 yard line here with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. A 28-0 Cavalier lead. And Ron Colley, I think, has two timeouts remaining, if I'm not mistaken. So, again, we'll see how the Cavs attack it. Um, Ron Colley should have the ball to start the second half as well. And we'll see if the Cavs maybe make a quick strike or two here and see if they can get something done. Braden Hilton in the backfield. Cavs line up three receivers right and a tight end on the line. Lundquist takes the shotgun snap, pump fake once. And now we'll fire it downfield. We'll throw it into coverage. And, oh, the ball into Holzer's hands. Uh, the uh, defense there provided by uh, number 16, Lane Lucas. And Lucas put the hands up, I think, gotten 
uh, Lane's vision and uh, the ball looked like it hit Lane Holzer, but he couldn't haul it in. And again, good coverage here by Lane Lucas, the corner. And so a long strike pass uh, nearly completed, but uh, incomplete, and it'll be second and ten. 22 and a half seconds to go in the half. Split backs. Lundquist will work under center. And the uh, quick swing pass, hook and lateral. McNary will dump it off to Cox, and he's got the sideline, 40-35, cuts it back. He's got a blocker ahead of him, will turn his way ahead. It's a foot race to the end zone, the 10, the 5, and he is in for the score. The hook and lateral works, and again, a great block downfield for Ron Colley to spring him free at the end. Austin Mogg, after the uh, play was uh, completed, the lineman sprint downfield. Mogg threw a heck of a block to open that one up, and that is a... 30, excuse me, a 63-yard strike on the hook and lateral. And Cox takes it in for the score. Braden McNary got absolutely leveled as he made that catch, but got rid of it to Cox, who makes a heck of a run. And uh, the Cavaliers now on top, 34-0. Sam Van Orman on for the point after attempt. And this snap is a good one. Kick is up, and it is good. And it's a 35 to nothing Ron Colley lead. Here is, uh, we head towards halftime, six seconds to go. And that will uh, give us a running clock to start the second half as well. Again, a great pass play by Braden McNary. Lundquist finds McNary over the middle. McNary running, absolutely took a shot from maybe two Cossack defenders, but right at the last minute makes a great chest pass off to Dalton Cox, trailing on the play. The hook and lateral works perfectly. Cox, with a great run afterwards, takes it in for the score. And again, a little bit of a bag of tricks, and Dalton Cox will get the uh, credit here for the uh, for the touchdown, but that was certainly a team effort on, uh, on that play to get the Cavaliers seven more here before the half. <clears throat> and Ron Colley now will kick it away. And then just, uh, again, try not to let anything happen here before halftime. The Cavs have owned this first quarter, or first half, after a, a slow start. The Cavs have uh, come on fire and found their stride, which they were certainly in before uh, before the bye week last week. And Cavs have opened up a 35 nothing halftime lead. Van Orman has it teed at the 40. We'll see if he squibs it here, and that is what will happen. A squibber up the middle. And Sioux Valley will fall on it at the 34-yard line with 2.8 seconds to go. And uh, Hoggy will fall on it at the 35-yard line, and we'll see if the Cossacks will try for one play here or just kneel it and try to regroup at halftime. But again, a great first half here for Ron Colley as the Cavaliers have... Uh, taken advantage of some Sioux Valley mistakes and then made their own breaks as well to open up this 35-0 lead. Sioux Valley will line it up, receivers each side, and I formation, Lane Lucas will go under center here with just under three seconds to go. Lucas is going to air it out and will fire it up over the middle. Pass is, uh, well, nearly picked off by Danny Gallagher. The ball went up, and Gallagher had an opportunity at it, but it'll be an incomplete pass, and that will be the quarter, or excuse me, the half. And all Ron Colley here as we head to halftime. The Cavs holding a 35 to nothing lead here in Sioux Valley. We'll be back now with the halftime stats, which are brought to you by Aberdeen Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Dr. Thomas Harbert wants to get you back in the game and improve your quality of life. Back with stats, scores, and so much more from Volga on our halftime show. Back to do that in three minutes. When it comes to floor covering and installation, don't settle for low inventory, poor customer service, and higher prices. Come to FloorMax of Aberdeen to see the largest inventory and the best pricing in the region. FloorMax offers everyday low pricing and gives you the best value for your money, along with great customer service. We offer hardwood, vinyl, luxury vinyl, carp. You see three minutes, or? Yeah. Okay. FloorMax has everything you need with the largest inventory in the region. Stop by FloorMax today at Prop and Shop Pro in Aberdeen or call 225 5411. Central 7, here on 6. On your way to the game? On your way to the grocery store? On your way to the <coughs> I'll see if I can get any more. On your way to the 
them all on your way to the clinic. What's on your way, you ask? It's the Drive Up ACM machine at Healthcare Plus Federal Credit Union, located in the third drive up lane, conveniently located at the corner of Dakota Street and First Avenue. On your way to, well, everywhere. See what we can do. Member NCUA. <laughs> Molly of First Premier Realty in Aberdeen would like to wish both teams the best of luck in today's game. And when it comes to buying or selling a home, luck shouldn't have anything to do with it. Call Molly today to find out more about buying or selling a home. Molly has over 13 years of professional real estate experience in the Aberdeen area, and she can help you with all of your real estate needs. Call Molly Dolly today at 380-4163. That number again is 380-4163. Max Auto Body is here to help you in any situation, whether it's a scratch, dent, ding, or accident. Max Auto Body provides friendly service, free estimates. They can handle your insurance paperwork and even provide a courtesy car while they work on your vehicle. Plus, they use environmentally friendly paints just like your factory paint, which allows for the best possible paint match. Call Max Auto Body at 225-0480 and let them get the job done right the first time. Max Auto Body. Max Auto Body 225-0480. Wishing success to both teams in today's game from Little Caesar's Pizza of Aberdeen. Stop by the store at 2001 6th Avenue Southeast and carry out a hot and ready pizza for lunch, supper, or just a quick snack. Enjoy the convenience of their drive-up window and you won't even have to get out of your vehicle. Little Caesar's uses fresh dough and sauce made each day and cheese that's never frozen. Carry out a fresh, hot and ready pizza today at Little Caesar's Pizza, Southeast 6th Avenue in Aberdeen. Little Caesar's Pizza, home of the $5 hot and ready pizza, has been voted best value in America five years in a row. Pizza, pizza. When you come home, it should be relaxing, cozy, your escape from the world. At Mount Charles Home Furnishing, we are here to help you create... This is the last one. Okay. ...you find that perfect sofa where you'll snuggle up with someone you love. The table you sit down to for family meals where memories are made. And that comfy bed that helps you get the rest you need. Let us help you find the perfect quality furniture so you get the look you'll love to come home to. At Mount Charles Home <coughs> Furnishing, downtown Aberdeen. Come home. Welcome back to Sioux Valley High School in Volga, South Dakota. Time now for our halftime report brought to you by Aberdeen Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Dr. Thomas Harbert wants to get you back in the game and improve your quality of life. Great first half here for Aberdeen Ron Colley coming out of the bye week, two weeks off, and the Cavaliers off to a little bit of a slow start tonight. Uh, they hold Sioux Valley on downs defensively, and then Ron Colley on offense takes the uh, ball. Uh, did not get a first down, and Zach Lundquist threw a, an early interception to give Sioux Valley the ball back at the at, right at midfield. Cossacks come back, uh, get a couple first downs, and then uh, Lane Lucas, the Sioux Valley quarterback, throws a pick over on the far sideline. Uh, Lane Holzer coming up with that interception, and the Cavaliers get the ball back, and then it was off to the races. The Cavaliers have scored on uh, uh, five of their... Uh, Five of the next six possessions here to open up this 35 to nothing lead here at halftime. Ron Colley's uh, first drive, an 81-yard drive. Uh, Lundquist finds Dalton Cox with a 40-yard pass. Uh, and again, Zach was going down in the uh, grips of the defender. Flings it off to Cox at the very last minute. And Dalton makes a heck of a run cutting against the green. And... Uh, Taken out a couple defenders along the way. The point after kick fails, but the Cavs had a 6 nothing lead with three minutes to go in the first quarter. Ron Colley then holds Sioux Valley on downs at the uh, at the uh, Cossack 14-yard line. Sioux Valley goes for it on fourth and a foot at their own 14. Doesn't get it. The Cavs on their only play of the next series. Handed off to Dalton Cox. Had a huge hole up the middle, and Cox rumbles 14 yards. The two-point conversion run by Lucas Lorenzo is good. It was 14 nothing, and that's where we sat at the end of the first quarter. Uh, Sioux Valley muffs a punt in, uh, in the second quarter on their next series. Ron Colley can't do anything with it, punts it, and uh, Sioux Valley then uh, uh, doesn't do anything. Again, goes for it uh, on downs at their own 12-yard line, fourth and a foot, and again do not get it. The Cavaliers uh, then on a 12-yard drive give it off to Brayden Hilton, who takes it in from a yard out. A 21-0 lead for the Cavs with four minutes to go in the half. After a Sioux Valley punt, Ron Colley gets it at midfield. Dalton Cox, an 11-yard TD run to make it 28-0 with a minute three to go. And then late in the half, the hook and lateral works in the final 30 seconds. Braden McNary, the pass over the middle from Lundquist. He passes it off to Cox as he gets absolutely nailed, and Dalton Cox takes it the rest of the way. A 63-yard pass play for the score. The point after kick is good, and again, it gives Ron Colley a 35-0 halftime lead which means running clock 
to start the second half. And again, Ron Colley, I believe, will have the ball to start the second half. And so we'll see if the Cavaliers can... Uh, can make short work of this uh, second half of play, but certainly Ron Colley uh, off to the races and uh, back in their groove as this first half wore on, just really got after it and uh, has taken a lot out of the Sioux Valley Cossacks. So that is your scoring summary here at halftime. Again, all of our uh, drive recaps tonight brought to you by Aberdeen Chrysler, your home of the best price. And again, for all those five touchdowns, Ron Colley schools recognize Primrose, Dakota Bank, Marco, and Wendy's. The Ron Colley score for scholarship sponsors as uh, Primrose, Dakota Bank, Marco, and Wendy's make a donation to the Ron Colley Tuition Assistance Program to help provide their children with a Ron Colley education for each Cavalier touchdown. So, again, more money going in the coffers there as the Cavaliers have opened up this 35 to nothing halftime lead. Back with other scores. We're back with the individual stats here at uh, halftime. Again, 35 to nothing up on the scoreboard. Ron Colley out in front. Back to Volga with your individual stat totals after we take a three-minute timeout. Financial investments are very important. Absorb the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Gene Lorenz, your Aberdeen Edward Jones financial advisor. Now is the time to make investments that can help provide money in the ever-rising cost of college. For a free college cost analysis, call 225-5549 or stop by my office next to Subway in front of Kmart. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Scott? Yeah. Halftime score, uh, Fulton leads Ipswich and Men Central now 20 to 14 at halftime. Okay. Have you gotten anything on uh, Parkston and Redfield Dolan? I haven't heard, but I can try to find it. Okay, if you can find something, Ed, let me know as soon as you can. You know who would be doing that game? Or? I don't know if anybody's doing it. Um, I was checking Aberdeen News for scores. But. Yeah, I, you know what? And I think they're doing the uh, game online. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll try to find something. S see if you can. Yeah, that'd okay. be great. Doesn't matter as long as it's at rock bottom prices. Well, I usually like to know what I'm getting. Like a Wendy's Junior Cheeseburger with hot and juicy beef and cheese. Just 99 cents. I'll take it. This one's not for sale. Get one delicious for your dollar on Wendy's right price, right size menu. Big taste. Like our four piece spicy chicken nuggets and frosty. Each just 99 cents every day. Out of this. I mean, it's really good. Now that's better. Prices and participation may vary. Menu starts at 99 cents. Beauty and energy efficiency. That's what Hunter Douglas window treatment from floor to ceiling bring to the table. From blinds for your windows to shades for your patio door. Floor to ceiling carries the full line of Hunter Douglas window treatment, which can make an entire room seem new for very little money. Not only that, Hunter Douglas window treatments provide energy efficiency, keeping the warm air out in the summer and the cold out in the winter. See floor to ceiling today during the fall festival of savings and check out the full line of Hunter Douglas window style. Floor to ceiling in the Super City Plaza. Here's T.J. McGarry, 2008 Ron Colley Valley Historian, 2012 Notre Dame Honors Graduate, and one of the newest engineers at Hub City, Inc. in Aberdeen. When I graduated from Ron Colley and went away to school, I didn't know that I'd come back to Aberdeen to work, but it's great to be home. When I got to Notre Dame, I was ready because Ron Colley prepared me well. Now I get to apply what I learned in a job in my hometown. Life is good in Aberdeen, and Ron Colley is one of the reasons. For information, call 226-2100 or visit AberdeenRonColley.org. Dr. Thomas Harbord at Aberdeen Orthopedics and Sports Medicine can help improve your quality of life if you're suffering from an orthopedic injury, such as joint aches. That's the last one. Okay, thanks. It's time to call Aberdeen Orthopedics and Sports yes. Medicine. With outreach clinics in Pittsburgh, uh, Roscoe, Miller, Josh Peter, and Red for it. Call 229-0205. That's 229-0205. Or online at AberdeenOrthopedics.com. Back in Volga at Sioux Valley High School on our halftime show here. Again, brought to you by Dr. Thomas Harbert at Aberdeen Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. 35 to nothing. Aberdeen Ron Colley out on top of Sioux Valley. And again, the Cavaliers, we've uh, gone through their scoring totals, but uh, Dalton Cox has been the man tonight. Four TDs of Ron Colley's five. Cox has uh, touchdown runs of 40 and 11 yards, a pass reception of uh, four. Of, uh, Let's see. <laughs> I've got this here somewhere. A 40-yard pass reception 
a 14-yard run, an 11-yard run, and then the hook and lateral with McNary uh, making the initial catch and then lateraling to Cox, who takes it the rest of the way to close out the half on a 63-yard play. So Dalton Cox has put the Cavs into pay dirt, but a, a pretty balanced night all the way around here for Ron Colley. The Cavs have 90 rushing yards, 137 through the air tonight. Zach Lundquist, 8 of 11 with an interception in the first half, 137 yards. And again, TD passes of 40 and 63 yards. Dalton Cox, four catches tonight night for 122 yards including those two TD scores and uh, Lucas Lorenz has one grab for eight yards Braden McNary one catch for seven uh, on the ground Dalton Cox three carries 25 yards and again two of the three carries have gone for scores Lucas Lorenz has uh, three carries for 42 yards tonight Braden Hilton uh, three carries for a net Two yards, one a one-yard touchdown run was thrown for a loss of four and then had a five-yard run as well. And Zach Lundquist, four carries tonight for 21 yards on those uh, center sneaks up the middle. Those were there early on, and uh, it, Ron Colley able to get some things done in that regard. Uh, for Sioux Valley, uh, they have exactly 100 yards of total offense here tonight, 31 on the ground, 69 through the air. Uh, Lane Lucas, the quarterback, is 7 of 13 with an interception, 69 yards throwing. Uh, his favorite target tonight. Colin Kramer, three catches for 27 yards. Cole Hauge has two catches for 42 yards. And uh, one other reception went for no... Uh, Hayden Hall grabbed one pass for one yard. Uh, Hall, 10 carries, just 11 yards on the night, as the Cavs have done a good job to bottle him up. Uh, Trevor Lundeen has four carries for 13 yards. Brock Suardo, six carries for eight yards tonight. And nobody has run for more than five yards on the Cavalier defense here tonight on the ground. So again, Ron Colley doing a nice job on both sides, have taken advantage, and again, their defense has uh, really set up the Ron Colley offense a couple times, stopping Sioux Valley twice on fourth and short within the Sioux Valley 15-yard line, giving the Cavs short fields to work with, and again, Ron Colley able to capitalize and get some scores on the board. So again, a 35 nothing halftime lead, and the Cavs will uh, have the running clock in their favor to shorten up this second half as long as that lead stays at 35 or more. And so uh, Ron Colley will get the football to start the second half. We'll see how they come out and attack this one. 35 nothing. your score, Cavs on top. Back with your second half of action from Sioux Valley in two minutes. Again, your halftime report brought to you by Dr. Thomas Harbert at Aberdeen Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. He wants to get you back in the game and improve your quality of life. And we're back to Volga in two minutes. Looks like a 21 nothing Parkston leads at half time. Okay. 21 nothing Parkston at half. Thank you. Parkston up 21 nothing at half. Fifth Avenue trophies, banners, and signs can help make any event or happening more special because they'll develop and print all sorts of items to make you, your event, and your awards stand out. Fifth Avenue trophies, banners, and signs print t-shirts and signs for any event. They can make trophies, banners, and plaques to signify top accomplishments and milestones. No matter what the occasion, let Fifth Avenue trophies, banners, and signs create an image that will last forever. See them today in their new location, just north of Domino's Pizza on Main Street in downtown Aberdeen. When you need a prescription fill, stop into State Street Pharmacy, Plaza Pharmacy, or United Clinic Pharmacy, all conveniently located in Aberdeen. They honor all major insurance cards, free prescription delivery, and mail orders as well. And, of course, they all offer fast, friendly, professional service. So whether it's allergy season, cold and flu season, or any time you need your prescription filled, see your friends at State Street Pharmacy in the Medical Square Building, United Clinic Pharmacy in the Stanford Health Clinic, or Plaza Pharmacy located in 10 Super Fair Foods in Aberdeen. South Dakota is a land of infinite variety, and at the finishing touch, we realize that, which is why we carry Hunter Douglas window treatment. Hunter Douglas is known for their stylish looks and their... This last one. Thank you. They actually help your energy efficiency in any season. Stop by the finishing touch today and check out our collection of blinds from Hunter Douglas. Take advantage of free professional installation. These store for... No score in the Cardinals Dodgers game, by the way. Top of three. Pretty. 
And welcome back to Volga and Sioux Valley High School. Again, a 35-0 score here at the half. Ron Colley on top. Other scores, uh, the big one in the area tonight, Parkston and Redfield. Dolan down in Redfield. And Parkston, at uh, last report here, out to a 21-0 halftime lead on Redfield. Dolan in that game. Uh, Groton, at last report, leading Tio Spazina, 28-0. Aberdeen Central leading here in 7-6 at half. And Falkton has taken a 20-14 to halftime lead on Ipswich in our Sunday 97 game of the week. So we'll try to do our best to keep you posted on those scores. Again, a 35-0 Cavalier lead here. And uh, I believe second half rule at 35 points. Uh, the clock does run without stopping except for timeouts or injuries. And so uh, we may see a fast second half if the Cavaliers can keep the pressure on here. But certainly Sioux Valley, you got to think, is going to come out and uh, play with a little pride and and try to get back into this football game and try to make a little bit of a run here. And so the Cavaliers, uh, I guess, will probably try to, again, guard against that and just uh, keep the, the pedal down as they, you, you try to build momentum towards the, the postseason. And uh, certainly you don't want to take a step backwards. A good first half for Aberdeen Ron Colley, again, after the pick on the opening series. The Cavaliers score on five of their next six series. To, uh, to open up this lead, and the Cav defense has made some big stops here time and again. Uh, as we said, uh, limiting Sioux Valley to just 31 rushing yards, and the Cossacks like to establish that run game, but uh, the Ron Colley defense has not allowed that here tonight. And uh, again, an interesting second half waiting to unfold, but uh, we'll see how this one goes down. They put a little extra time up on the clock, so we'll take one final break here before half or before the second half. 35 nothing. Ron Colley leads it. Back with the second half kickoff in 90 seconds. Why Pearson Ford? Well, it's easier to ask why not. Pearson Ford is the area's fleet price Ford dealer. We have a full lineup of the best selling truck in America for 36 years running. Think about that. The Ford F-150 is number one in America for well over three decades. That alone should interest you in a new truck. Pearson Ford also carries other Ford products like the Edge, the Focus, the Fusion, the Escape, and more. And on the pre-owned side, we carry all makes and models. And don't forget, we're the home of the 100% finance guarantee. Pearson Ford in the Auto Plaza. See PearsonFord.com. Why make a Vera Aberdeen family physician your family health care provider? Dr. Siegler, Bach, Knapp, Mokin, Heath, Snow, and Walsh are committed to their patients. And together, they provide our region with a wide spectrum of services. For routine wellness exams, the chronic or sudden illnesses or injuries, including adult, pediatric, and geriatric care. Call 225-0378 to schedule your appointment with one of our seven board-certified physicians today. A Vera Aberdeen Family Physician. We specialize in your family's health care. Dr. John Carroll and Dr. Mark Bain of Carroll and Bain Family Dental Care are providing... Last one, then? Yep, this is it. Okay. <laughs> Cosmetic dentistry and as always, emergency are seen promptly. At Carol's and Bain Family Dental Care, these patients are always welcome. Conveniently open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. Yeah, but it's about a minute or two behind. Call the major appointment at 225 1192. That's 225 1192. Good luck, Aberdeen Run County Cavaliers. You guys doing that the first half? Welcome back to Volga as we get ready for the second half of action as Sioux Valley will kick it away to Aberdeen Run County. The Cavs holding a 35 to nothing lead here after the first half of play. And uh, Ron Colley set to receive here for the first time tonight. As uh, back deep for Ron Colley, Lane Holzer and I believe Brayton Hilton back at the 15-yard line to await the kick from uh, number 51 for the Cossacks. That is Hunter Teekjan. As uh, Sioux Valley now will line it up and uh, have it teed up at the 40. And... Again, Cavaliers down here 35, or up here 35 nothing. Want to guard against uh, maybe an onside kick or something like that. But Teachin will approach the football. High, short kick, end over end taken by Hilton at the 25. 35, he's got room. He's past midfield already. On his feet, rolls over a defender. Still on his feet and gets it all the way back to the 35-yard line. What a run back by Hilton who caught it and had a full head of steam. And Braden Hilton sets Ron Colley up in great field position here to start this second half. And again, you uh, after opening up a, a big lead, you don't want to any let up. And certainly the Cavaliers make a statement there on the Hilton run back. We're not letting up. We're coming at you. And uh, Braden Hilton, a beautiful return, brought down by uh, three different Cossacks, the last three in the line of defense to try to hold him down. 
Cavs will line up two receivers near side. Lundquist from the shotgun, wide left. Another receiver, that is uh, Holzer, I believe, and he's going to take the little slant route and come up with the grab. Pass is complete. And excuse me, that's Danny Gallagher with the reception. Gallagher in the slot over there comes up with a uh, nine-yard pass reception on the uh, first play of this second half. And Dan Gallagher makes his first catch of the night. It'll be second and a yard to go here for the Cavs at the Sioux Valley 26-yard line. Double wing formation for the first time tonight. In motion, Cox to the near side. Here is the give to Hilton up the middle. He's got nice room and blockers, and will get down inside the 20 to about the 19-yard line. A gain of about seven yards on the carry, and uh, more than enough for the first down for Ron Colley. And again, the Cavs come out really exploding off the line, and uh, they're coming out with a full head of steam and keeping after it. First and ten, Cavs at the Sioux Valley 19 in a hurry. And again, great field position set up after the nice run back by Braden Hilton on the opening kick of this second half. Single wing eye set, Lundquist under center. Here comes Sioux Valley with a little rush up the middle, and the give goes to Lorenz on a counter play, and Lucas runs into about three different Sioux Valley Cossacks. The Cossacks guess right on the hole to plug, and uh, again, Sioux Valley bringing the house inside, kind of a run blitz there. And Lorenz is going to get thrown for a loss of about two on the carry. Back to the about the 20-yard line. It'll be second and 12. Wide to the left. Greg Zenz in the football game here along with Lorenz and Cox. Lines up line, wide left. Here comes a rush from the outside. And now here is a penalty flag as Zenz catches the little slant pass on the inside. Flag coming very early on that play. And... Uh, We'll see what the call is. Back at about the line of scrimmage, typically it's holding, but uh, we'll see what they uh, call, and that is the case. It's another hold against Aberdeen Roncalli up front. Now Cavaliers, uh, third or fourth holding call here tonight. I don't think Sioux Valley's been called for any, and uh, this one will come back 10 yards from the spot all the way back to the 31-yard line. And, uh, yeah, it was a quick slant play, and uh, that flag came out right away. It'll bring it back to the 31-yard line, so uh, second and 21 coming here for the Cavaliers. Ron Colley will show that double wing formation. Zen's wide left. Lundquist under center will pitch it back. And now here comes the Cavaliers special. Lundquist will put it up over and has it complete to Lorenz, who will walk into the end zone for the score. Welcome uh, to the schedule, Sioux Valley, your first ever look at the Cavaliers special. And Aberdeen Ron Colley runs it well. Lorenz was so wide open, he pulled up at about the 10-yard line and just walked it in for the score. A 31-yard touchdown pass on the Cavaliers special from Lundquist to Lucas Lorenz. And again, the Cavs continue to roll as they start out the second half with a drive and a score to make it a 41-0 lead. On for the point after kick is Van Orman. Snap is good. Ball is up and through the upright. And it is a 42-0 lead. 8.32 to play in this third quarter of play. 42-0 Cavaliers on top. We'll be back to Volga for the kick in 30 seconds. The airport cafe and travel center has fuel for vehicles and people, too. Stop in Friday evenings for their all-you-can-eat Friday night buffet. Featuring their delicious roasted chicken, barbecue ribs, fish, soup, and salad bar in the airport cafe. 16-ounce monster drinks, just $1.79 in the travel center. In a hurry for lunch, don't forget the travel center has roasted chicken, subs, wraps, assorted cold sandwiches, fresh-made deviled eggs, and still more. They also carry Senex Roadmaster and Wintermaster Premium Diesel. Well, the Cavaliers pick up right where they left off to start the second half. The Everton Chrysler Drive summary, 35 yards, again set up by a great run back on the kick return by Braden Hilton. And the Cavs run a Cavaliers special on uh, second and long. Zach Lundquist finds Lucas Lorenz for a 31-yard touchdown pass. The point after kick from Sam Van Orman is good, and it's a 42 to nothing Aberdeen Ron Colley lead. 8.32 to play, third quarter. Cavs will boot it away, and again, in a run clock situation here. So Sioux Valley will have to 
hurry it up. They were kind of deliberate at times in the first half, and the clock will run now all the time. Here's a nice kickoff by Van Orman, taken by uh, number 30, Brock Sordos, and Sordos will bring it back out on a nice return out to about the 38-yard line. And so a good return of about 20 yards by Sordos, and... Sioux Valley will come out first and 10. Again, the Ron Colley defense has been the story here tonight. Gave up an early pass play of 33 yards, and after that, the Cavs have pretty well taken care of business. No plays have gone for more than 10, and nobody has rushed for a bigger gain than five yards on the ground for Sioux Valley. High formation, single wing set, no wides, and two tight ends here for the uh, Cossacks. And here is the give on the option play inside. And it goes nowhere as uh, the quarterback, Lucas uh, Lane Lucas, wrapped up. And the carry there by uh, Brock Swartos goes for a loss of a yard. And so Ron Colley does a good job sniffing out that option. And it'll be second and 11 coming for the Cossacks at their own 36. High formation as uh, Lundin will line up on a wing back, and here is a flag coming from the side judge, and I'm thinking somebody lined up wrong or an equipment problem. Oh, they're, light. they're calling Ron Colley encroaching, and uh, I don't know that anybody had even gotten up to the line of scrimmage yet. I'm not sure. Uh, a very quick flag coming from the sideline calling Ron Colley with encroachment. And uh, at any rate, the ball comes ahead five yards, second and five. I formation once again, same set for the Cossacks. And here's the option play pitch. will come back to Hayden Hall. Hall uh, makes one guy miss, but not as lucky the second time around and is going to lose about a yard on the carry. Hall uh, got the ball on the pitch and, again, made one guy miss, but then wrapped up and brought down. A loss of a yard uh, back to the 41, so third and seven coming here for the Cossacks at their own 41-yard line. Again, with the run clock on, we're halfway through this third quarter already. 6-10 and counting to play. I formation. The wing back is Lundin, and uh, here is a play-action pass rolling to the right. A uh, throw by uh Lucas is complete to Hauge downfield. And a uh, flag back at the uh, vicinity of holding. A nice job by Hauge, who got hurt on the play, and this one may come back in that vicinity of holding. We'll see what uh, the call is. Uh, gain, though, on that play of about 18 yards. A face-masking call against Roncalli. And so this one uh, is going to go for a big gain and then some. Hauge makes the grab of 18 yards, gets hurt on the play, and now uh, a face mask, I think, was called up at the line of scrimmage, so I'm not sure if somebody got a hold of one of the linemen up front, but at any rate, the inadvertent face mask, the five-yard penalty, uh, gets tacked on at the end of the play to bring the ball down to the Ron Colley 35-yard line. So first and ten. In Ron Colley territory, first time in a while for Sioux Valley. Here's the give off to Hayden Hayden uh, Hall, and he gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage and pushed backwards, and then a flag comes in. And this one again in that vicinity of holding. And uh, it looks like they are talking to the Cavaliers, uh, uh, defensive captains, and that is the call, a hold against Sioux Valley here. We'll bring this one back 10 yards from the spot, which is about two or three yards behind the line of scrimmage. So the line of scrimmage was a 35. This one's going to end up being about a 13, 14-yard penalty, bringing it all the way back to the 48 of uh, Ron Colley. So it is uh, first and 23 for Sioux Valley to start this one out after the holding call. Clock continues to run, 4-10 and counting to play third quarter. 42-0, Ron Colley on top. Sioux Valley will line up with that uh, wishbone look in the backfield. And here is, yeah, finally, <laughs> there is movement up on the line of scrimmage, and the flags fly from everywhere about a second and a half after it happened. False start is the call against 
the Cossack, so this will bring it back another five and back into Sioux Valley territory. Colin Kramer, the tight end, let his arms move about a second and a half before the snap count. And so, again, it goes from bad to worse for Sioux Valley as they've given themselves two penalties in a row. Haven't had many penalties tonight, but two in a row here put the ball back into Cossack territory back at the Sioux Valley 47. First and 28, I believe. I formation, wide outs each side. And here is the option play inside. It goes to the fullback. I think that was Swartos again on the run. Lucas will hand it off to Swartos. Swartos out to midfield, a gain of three on that play. Landon Hayline again in on the stop, who has, uh, boy, he's been all over the place defensively here tonight for Aberdeen Roncalli. And so second and a bunch here. Second and 25 for the Cossacks with the ball at midfield just into Ron Colley territory. Colin Kramer will split out wide near side. Hoggy wide right. Good to see him out there as he came off a little dinged up after he made the long pass catch earlier in this series. I formation now behind Lane Lucas, the quarterback. Long count, and Lucas will drop back to throw. Getting a rush, will roll to his right and gets free from it. Now we'll put it down, and Lorenz will come up and will meet him. A loss of five yards, or excuse me, a gain of five yards on the run by Lane Lucas. Lorenz, a nice open field tackle, though. And, again, not near enough for the first down. Third and 20 coming now for Sioux Valley with the ball at the Ron Colley 45. And, again, if Lorenz doesn't make that stop, there's some green grass ahead of Lane Lucas, the quarterback. But Lorenz, a good job, a nice form tackle one-on-one -on -one in the open. Hauge will split wide to the right, and Kramer wide near side, short side of the field, I formation. Third and 20 coming here for the uh, Cossacks, and now here is a rush, and uh, in getting uh, a little bit of a rush, and uh, Wayne Lucas got rid of it. The flag comes at the end with a nice rush put on there by Aberdeen Ron Colley. Coming up front there, I think getting... After the quarterback was uh, Anthony Andera making a nice run. And it looks like a hold again against Sioux Valley is called. Way back at the uh, Sioux Valley or Sioux Valley 46-yard line. This was seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. He'll tack on ten more. So a costly penalty there. And again, Anthony Andera was in the face of the quarterback, uh, Lane Lucas, early. And so uh, it's a bunch here. For Sioux Valley coming. Third and a ton. Back at the 35-yard line of the Cossacks now. Sioux Valley will show the eye formation. In motion comes Hoggy to the near side. Pitch will come back to Hayden Hall. The running back, he'll turn it upfield and going to get stopped for a loss of a yard. Doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage and... Again, Sioux Valley made a big pass play to get into Ron Colley territory. And now we'll have 4th and uh, 20, 30. 4th and 40 back at their own 35-yard line. And Sioux Valley will bring the punt team out with 35 seconds and counting to play in this third quarter. All Ron Colley is, uh, again, with this run clock, each team just one possession here in the period. Here's a... Line drive kick. McNary will let it bounce. Now we'll pick it up at the 25. Gets free of a tackle. And we'll try to return and we'll get brought down right at the 25-yard line. So, again, the punt, a good one. Best of the night for Tofty. Ron Colley can't do anything on the return, and the Cavs will get it back. And uh, that's where we'll start the fourth quarter. As time expires here in this third quarter, the Cavs put a touchdown on in their only series and take a 42-0 lead heading to the fourth quarter back to Volga after we take a one-minute timeout. Cool mornings. Fog. Frost is near. The pollen allergic celebrate. Leaves fall. Grass dies. Harvest begins. And the mold flies. The mold allergic. Congested. Cough. It's going to be the end of the quarter. That's that? Yeah. Um, Central leads here on 14-12 in the third quarter. 
End of three? Okay, yep. thanks. Is it allergy? Is it asthma? This is Dr. Tom here At Aberdeen Asthma and Allergies, time to find out. Good luck to all the athletes from NBC. We're your local high-speed internet cable team. Block in the back. Okay. And cell phone provider. It's superior local network coverage. Now offering areas only. 21 nothing Parkston. At half. Download, tweet, update, brag as much as you want. Visit our retail store. Really? Or call 725-1000. That's 725-1000. Well, a block in the back penalty was called at the end of that uh, uh, punt play against Ron Colley. And so the Cavaliers will uh, have the ball at their own 15-yard line instead of the 25. First and 10. But again, uh, the ball back 10 yards from where we were at when we left to uh, head to the fourth quarter. Starting the fourth quarter out, again, run clock in effect. Cavaliers leading at 42 to nothing. Ron Colley has scored on six of their uh, last seven possessions. And we'll line it up first and ten here to start out the fourth quarter. Zach Lundquist in the football game. I formation. Give off to the tailback. And a big run on the way for Dalton Cox. And he is past another defender. Out to the 40, 50-yard line. One man to beat. Turns, turns it on. Makes two players miss. And it is Cox into the end zone for an 85-yard touchdown run. An 85-yard run. And again... At the 40-yard line of Ron Colley, two Sioux Valley players converging on Cox. He makes the miss. One of the Sioux Valley players is down and injured, and I'm not sure if he turned an ankle or what happened, but what a run by Dalton Cox, 85 yards. And uh, the Sioux Valley player is still down out in front of the, uh, in front of the uh, Ron Colley bench. And the uh, Cavalier medical staff over there looking. I'm not sure. I don't think the players ran into each other. But uh, Dalton Cox was over there. The two players converging. Cox split the defenders. They both end up on the ground, and Dalton takes it in for the score. An 85-yard run that you have to see to believe because it was Dalton Cox off to the races for his uh, third touchdown run of the night and his fifth TD of the night, I believe. 40-yard pass play, 14-yard run. An 11-yard run, a 63-yard pass play, and now an 85-yard run for Dalton Cox. Good to see the Sioux Valley player up and moving. I think he just, it was an ankle breaker that uh, Cox uh, threw a move on. The player there is Nick Strasburg, and uh, Strasburg will walk off under his own power, kind of stretching the ankle out. Good to see that he's okay. And uh, 48-0 your score now after the Dalton Cox 85-yard touchdown run to start out this fourth quarter. And we'll see what the Cavaliers do here. Game is called at 50, and it looks like Ron Colley is uh, going to just go for the single, for the kick here. New player on to boot it is uh, number 32. That is Zach Schaefbauer getting a chance for the point after kick. Snap is a little high. Schaefbauer will approach it. Got it up in the air, but it has it blocked. Good form, but uh, just not quite high enough, and the point after kick is blocked, but the Cavaliers tack on six more on the Dalton Cox 85-yard run. 48 nothing Cavaliers, 11.37 to go in the football game. We're back to Volga in 30 seconds. And now the top five reasons to use band meter facility maintenance at your business. Five, offering the finest commercial cleaning with flexibility and competitive rates. Four, references available. Three, fully insured and bonded. Money stays in Aberdeen, not somewhere else. Two, eight full-time and four part-time employees who go through background checks. And the number one reason you should use Van Meter Facility Maintenance at your business. Locally owned and operated, providing commercial cleaning for over 30 years. Call Van Meter Facility Maintenance today at 226-1995. 226-1995. Dalton Cox, an 85-yard touchdown run on your Aberdeen Chrysler Drive summary. And it is uh, all Cavaliers here, 48 nothing with 11.37 to go in this fourth quarter. And uh, Aberdeen Ron Colley will boot it away. The clock will run, and we're probably about 10 minutes away from the end of this one as uh, the Cavs, if they would get another score, that would put it away. But, uh, again, the Cavs will boot it here, and we'll see if... Uh, the defense can come up with something or if Sioux Valley can get something rolling, but at any rate, 
Cavaliers have dominated again here tonight. And uh, here comes the ensuing kickoff taken by Hayden Hall at the 18-yard line. Hall will come near hash mark, bring it up the middle, and he's got one man to beat. He is past the 45-50, outruns another. Hall is off to the races. Braden McNary running from behind will run him out of bounds at the 23-yard line. And there is a flag at the end of the play as McNary kind of took that one, I think, hard out of bounds and maybe is going to get called for unnecessary roughness at the end of that play. Hall out to the 22-yard line of Ron Colley, and then a flag at the end of the play from out of bounds, and we'll get the call on what that is. McNary, a good job hustling down to run down Hayden Hall on the run back, but a personal foul is called against Aberdeen Ron Colley. And so you'll tack on and put half the distance. And, uh, again, Sioux Valley is going to have outstanding field position here to try to get their first score of the night. The ball will be spotted at the uh, Ron Colley 11-yard line after that great return by Hayden Hall up the middle. And the Cossacks now will try to get... Basically a first down and a little more to try to get up on the scoreboard here tonight. And now a timeout called by Sioux Valley with 11-10 to go. And so we will take a double D body shop timeout here as well. 48-0 Ron Colley, but Sioux Valley first and 10 at the Ron Colley 11 when we return to Volga in a minute. When you realize you're having a heart attack, you don't have a lot of time to research what you should do or where you should go. That's why knowing that Aversa News Hospital is rated nationally in the top 10% for cardiac intervention procedures, according to the national rating. Scott? Yeah. Um, looks like Clarkson's up 27 nothing now in the fourth quarter. Okay. Thank you. 27 nothing fourth quarter, Parkston. Two and a half minutes to go on that one. What's that? Two and a half to go on that one. Okay. An update here from uh, Parkston and Redfield Dolan. Parkston leading 27 nothing over Redfield Dolan. About two and a half minutes to go in that football game down in Redfield. And so uh, Redfield uh, in danger of losing their second game of the year. Well, their only other loss here to Ron Colley. The Cavs are 11 minutes away from going to 7-0 and on the season. Trying to preserve a shutout here, though. Sioux Valley first and 10 at the Ron Colley 11-yard line after a great kick return by Hayden Hall and then a personal foul penalty at the end. And here is Lane Lucas, the quarterback, scrambling for his life. Will put it up in the air. Has a defender up, and uh, yeah, that's Braden Hilton's going to get called for pass interference there. The uh, pass intended down there for Swardos, and uh, Braden Hilton hit uh, Swardos, the intended receiver, about four seconds early and never turned to look at the ball. So this will be a pass interference call, which will bring it ahead five uh, or half the distance to the goal and I believe an automatic first down here so it'll be first and goal for the uh, for the Cossacks and the ball will be spotted at the five and now uh, the clock has stopped for some reason with 11 minutes I'm not sure 48 nothing uh, this should run clock should be going but they do finally start it back up and uh, I think the official on the field actually stopped it, but first down now for Sioux Valley, and here is the give into the line, diving ahead, and a score here for Sioux Valley as uh, Trevor Lundeen will take it in from six yards out. Lundeen will uh, give the Cossacks their first touchdown of the night, and Sioux Valley will get a moral victory there. And uh, the uh, point after attempt now coming here for Sioux Valley. And uh, looks like the Cossacks are going to try to kick the extra point here. The uh, kicker is number 26, Trevor Lundeen, who scored the uh, touchdown. And 
Here is the kick. It is up long enough, but it is off to the left. No good, but the Cossacks are on the board here with 10.46 to go. For some reason, the clock is stopping now. The Cavaliers in the running clock lead, but uh, the officials have stopped the clock for whatever reason, and it's a 46-6 lead for Ron Colley now. Uh, we'll be back to Sioux Valley with the kickoff after we take this 30-second timeout. When it comes to floor covering and installation, don't settle for low inventory, poor customer service, and higher prices. Come to FloorMax of Aberdeen huh? to see the largest inventory yeah. and the best pricing in the region. FloorMax offers everyday low pricing and... Oh, if you're going to be able to reach. Your money, ...along with great customer service. We offer hardwood, vinyl, luxury vinyl, carpet, porcelain, and ceramic tile, as well as laminate. FloorMax has everything you need with the largest inventory in the region. Stop by FloorMax today across from Shopco in Aberdeen or call 225-5411. 48-6, to 6, Aberdeen Ron Colley on top of Sioux Valley. The uh, Cossacks just get on the board here, an 11-yard drive on your Aberdeen Chrysler Drive summary. Again, a great return by Hayden Hall, and a uh, personal foul penalty sets Sioux Valley up in great position at the Ron Colley 11, and uh, Lundeen takes it in. Uh, Trevor Lundeen from six yards out for the score. The point after kick no good, but the uh, Cavaliers again the big lead here with 10.46 to play. And for whatever reason, the officials are stopping the clock here to start out this fourth quarter. It outran throughout the third quarter, but uh, I'm not sure what uh, the deal there is. At Aber any rate, Aberdeen Ron Colley well on top. And now the kickoff here by Sioux Valley. The ball taken by Lane Holzer at the 10-yard line cuts it up the middle. He's at the 35, uh, slips free, and now will cut to the near sideline. 40 still on his feet at midfield. Towing the sideline, Sioux Valley 40, cuts it back 35 at the 30, and Holzer now will uh, run away at the 20-yard line and finally brought down at the 18. And Lane Holzer <laughs> had to run about 150 yards on that 80-yard uh, return, but a nice return by Holzer to set Ron Colley up in great position. And uh, we'll get all the way down to the Sioux Valley 18-yard line as the... Cavaliers will uh, get an outstanding return to set themselves up in some great field position. And Ron Colley now will come out here. Uh, still uh, some new faces in there. Lundquist still in at quarterback, and they'll give it off to Anthony Andera now, the new tailback in there. And Andera will run hard, uh, getting down to about the 10-yard line. Andera's first carry of the night. And it will be a uh, positive pickup here of about four yards for Anthony Andera on that carry. Ball down near, well, about the 13-yard line. Cavaliers will go single wing eye formation. Dalton Cox, the wing back on the left side of the line. One quist from under center. We'll give it off up the middle. That is Hilton, and he's going to keep plowing ahead, and Hilton in for the score. That is just a uh, gutty heads-up. Hard grinding run by Braden Hilton. A 13-yard TD run for Hilton. And Hilton will take it in for a score. Oh, check that. They're calling him short of the goal line. I thought I saw an official give a, uh, a signal, but forgive me, that is not the case. Hilton from the 13 gets down to the one-yard line. And, uh, boy, just a great run by Hilton there. And Hilton will stay in at the fullback spot. They'll uh, give it to him again, and uh, the officials now will give Hilton the one-yard touchdown run. And Braden Hilton will take it in for his second TD of the night. With 8.24 to go. And uh, Ron Colley on top by a 54-6 to margin. The Cavaliers look like they're going to probably try to end it here with a two-point conversion play. A 54-6 lead, and uh, the Cavaliers sending it out. Lundquist will stay in, and the Cavalier offense will line it up for the two-point conversion. Dan Gallagher wide near side, single wing eye formation. Everybody up in the box, and here's Lundquist rolling to his right, wide open. In the back of the end zone is Braden McNary, and that is your ball game. As uh, Lundquist finds Braden McNary for the uh, pass to the back of the end zone, and that makes it a 56-6 score. 
And that is your final here tonight from Sioux Valley as the Cavaliers. Another 50-point win here. And uh, an impressive night here for Ron Colley as their offense got on track. And uh, the Cavs go to 7-0 and on the year. Remaining is Britain, or excuse me, Millbank next week at home at Swisher Field for senior night next week. So, again, uh, congratulations to Ron Colley, a 56-6 win. We'll be back to recap this one for you and talk with Terry Dosh quickly. Back to do that on our post-game show from Sioux Valley after we take a three-minute timeout. On your way to the grocery store, on your way to the YMCA, on your way to the mall, on your way to the mall, on your way to the clinic. What's on your way, you ask? It's the drive-up ATM machine at Healthcare Plus Federal Credit Union, located in the third drive-up lane. Conveniently located at the corner of the Zona Street and First Avenue. On your way to, well, everywhere. I have them for... 177 Call Molly Dolly today at 380-4163. That number again is 380-4163. Max Auto Body is here to help you in any situation, whether it's a scratch, dent, ding, or accident. Max Auto Body provides friendly service, free estimates. They can handle your insurance paperwork and even provide a courtesy car while they work on your vehicle. Plus, they use environmentally friendly paints just like your factory paint, which allows for the best possible paint match. Call Max Auto Body at 225-0480 and let them get the job done right the first time. Max Auto. I need that plugged in. No, they unplugged my phone. I'm I'm back on. Hello? Hey Josh, it's me. You get disconnected? Yeah. Okay. We're okay here. Yeah. Just okay. tell me when we're close okay. to being back. Okay. Just stay in here. Okay. Still there? I'm here. Okay. Did you transfer over? Josh? Scotty, hold on a second. All right. <laughs> Hello? You there? I'm here. Okay. We'll go out to this. Sorry. Okay. All right. Workplace injuries and other accidents where injuries were caused by others. I'm Ron Wagen. I've been helping injured people for over 20 years. If you've been hurt by someone else, we at Vance, Gosh, and Kramer can provide you with specialized and experienced lawyers to help you get back what you've lost. Vance, Gosh, and Kramer. Let us put our knowledge and experience to work for you. All right, welcome back to Volga, the post-game show. Aberdeen, Ron Colley improving to 7-0 and with a 56-6 victory on the road here at Sioux Valley tonight. Uh, the Cavaliers open up a 35-0 halftime lead, uh, run a Cavaliers special for a, a score to start out the second half, uh, making it a 42-0 league. Zach Lundquist finds uh, Lucas Lorenz with a 31-yard pass, and... Uh, after a Sioux Valley punt, Ron Colley uh, gives the ball off to Dalton Cox, an 85-yard touchdown run, making it 48 nothing. And then the uh, uh, Sioux Valley uh, Cossacks get a great kick return from Hayden Hall. He uh, goes uh, all the way down to the 
the 21-yard line, a personal foul penalty at the end gives Sioux Valley the ball at the 11, and then uh, the uh, uh, Cossacks take it in. Trevor Lundin, a six-yard touchdown run to make it a 46-6 lead. Uh, then at the end, Ron Colley gets a great kick return from Braden Hilton all the way to the uh, Sioux Valley 18-yard line. And, uh, or excuse me, from uh, Lane Holzer, Hilton takes it in from one yard out to close it out, and the two-point conversion pass is good. So Aberdeen Ron Colley rolls to the 56-6 to uh, win here tonight. Nice night for the Cavaliers offensively, 132 rushing yards, 177 through the air by my total, and the Cavalier defense does a nice job really holding Sioux Valley down. Quickly uh, talking with uh, uh, Cavalier head coach Terry Dosh, and I want to make sure I've got the right mic. I, I'm That's hoping. Me. Okay, it is you. Good enough. That's what we want. <laughs> uh, nice win here tonight. Maybe a little bit of a slow start, but after you got off and rolling, uh, you really got up to, to fifth gear real quick. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I definitely thought we were a little lethargic maybe coming out. I'm not exactly sure why that should be. You know, it's been a while since we've, since we've had a game, and hopefully we'd be excited to get out there, but... Uh, uh, whatever the reason, I guess, uh, you know, a little, little bit slow, kind of gave up a couple things. But really outside of that long pass, maybe nothing real significant. Um, had a couple turnovers, had some penalties that just really annoy me a, a great deal. But, you know, overall pretty pretty solid effort. You know, we regrouped and, and uh, you know, we were pretty explosive, you know, and, and to be honest with you, you know, we got some pretty good field position early mm-hmm. on. So, you know, that um, who knows if we have to go 80 yards instead of 15, that might make a difference. But still, the defense yeah, well, really lifts you yeah. up. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought after maybe like the first series, I thought our defense played real solid. And, uh, you know, we got after them pretty good up front. Um, you know, I thought maybe, I don't know, I. I thought we, I didn't think we played as confidently in the secondary. You know, we didn't do a great job of breaking on some balls and things. And I know Coach Beck and I talked about that. And, you know, there's a couple things we think we maybe need to work on in practice. But, um, you know, overall pretty solid. I thought we did a good job of controlling the line of scrimmage so that our linebackers flowed hard to the, to the play. And, you know, just, just made a lot of plays, made them, made them earn quite a few things. So it was, you know. We're, we're happy with it. Sure. Uh, you know, and they are a run-first team like we talked about coming in, and I don't have anybody with more than a six-yard carry here tonight for them. So uh, all in all, a nice job. And, again, the field position, those fourth and shorts, you guys stuff them a couple times, and, and uh, boy, just uh, that really lifts you up in a hurry. Yeah, th- you know, that was nice to see us get a couple of stops on that on that fourth and short, you know, fourth and one or fourth and maybe less than one, I mm-hmm. think at least twice. Yeah. You know, we turn them away on that, and, and you know, from their standpoint, point they're thinking well you know we can we can get a half a yard and from our standpoint i thought our kids uh get get a good job of of responding to that and making plays and you know i think maybe relaxed a little bit at the end and that's always kind of disappointing you know and and even at the end there we were like okay you know we haven't been in too many must situations for quite a while you know let's approach this as that and um unfortunately we you know we we gave up the score which isn't a big deal except you know, it's like, well, we, we want to batten that down and then make a play and, you know, not, not relax. But, you know, I thought we got a couple of good returns. got a big, big return. We talked mm-hmm. about, you know, we, we want to get something to the house, fellas. <laughs> and, uh, you know, both Braden and Lane had, uh, had, had nice returns, big returns. And, <laughs> you know, I'm sure, I'm sure Lane is going to get dogged by his homies a little bit when he uh when he got drugged down there at the end but you know he did he ran a lot of yards and and did a good job you know we just uh i don't i don't know i thought our offensive line did a pretty good job we got you know a few times we got lost some things and and uh overall you know just kind of dominated up front and found a couple little things at the end that we thought maybe would would kind of be a key and you know and i know but the kid when it's 48 it's like the kids are like, we got to go for, t- nah, 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 we're just, you know, fellas, we haven't, we haven't played. Right. You know, it's been, you know, well over a month since we've actually played like a four-quarter football game. I, I You know, we just need to keep on playing and, and get some reps. I mean, because we can't get those reps in practice. So, um, yep. I understand that. <laughs> yeah, you know, and our JV's got two games this week. So, you know, it's like those, those guys, they're going to get a lot of reps. So. Mm-hmm. 
Well, again, a win is a win, and that's what you want, especially on the road. Head back home for one more with Millbank coming in next week and then uh, look ahead to the second season. But uh, uh, it's hard to believe it's that time of year already. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. We're down to the down to the final shot here. So, you know, hopefully we'll be uh, – you know, continue to, to build on. I, you know, I again, I thought we did a lot of good things tonight, and and um, we'll continue to to get a little bit better each day and keep working on up front, getting after people and and doing some things. So, you know, overall, you know, pretty good effort. You bet. Well, have a safe trip back home. We'll uh, talk to you next week, and we'll see you at Swisher. All right, it's always always good to uh, good to talk to you. And I, I appreciate <laughs> the fact that you know, Coach Beck was he was kind of fretting on the way up here because it was raining again and he said my wife's gonna holler at me because i wore shorts again and it's raining and i said it's it'll be okay it's not gonna rain we're gonna be good it's right it went right it's it's south and north we're good in volga <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know where volga is you're right i've never been here before but i i got a feeling so you know, I'm, I'm we're grateful that the uh, that the rain stayed away it was a beautiful evening and uh so i guess we'll get on the road and you know, uh, what, 9.30, uh, you know, honey, see, see you about midnight, honey. You bet. All right. <laughs> Thanks much, Terry. Right. Appreciate you coming up and finding the way here. <laughs> Terry Dosh, head coach of the Cavaliers. Again, Ron Colley, a 56-6 to victory here tonight. Um, let's take a look at your post-game stuff here to end it out. Our Heiser's Jewelry big moment of the game uh, brought to you by Heiser's Jewelry. Uh, remember, Heiser's carries charisma, interchangeable sterling silver jewelry. You can choose from hundreds of colors and styles. Change them as you want, according to your mood, your outfits, whatever. See charisma, sterling silver jewelry at Heiser's Jewelry in the Lakewood Mall. And I think the Heiser's Jewelry big moment of the game, those uh, two defensive stops tonight for Ron Colley, uh, fourth and a foot twice for Sioux Valley within their own 15-yard line. The Cavs' defense stops both times turning them into scores, and again, really took a lot of wind out of the Cossack sails. So the Ron Colley defense will get that uh, Heiser's Jewelry big moment of the game on those stops. And again, really, uh, after Ron Colley got out to the lead, uh, the field position game came huge and uh, helped Ron Colley roll to this easy victory here tonight. So again, the Ron Colley defense will get that. And our uh, Qdoba player of the game, got to go to Dalton Cox. Boy, you just look at him tonight, 120, uh, 100 uh, 10 yards rushing on four carries and three touchdowns uh, on the ground, an 85-yard run, a 14-yard run, an 11-yard run. Uh, Cox caught four catches uh, for 122 yards, including TD passes of 40 and 63 yards. Dalton Cox all over the place tonight. That's I wish he was my fantasy running back. I tell you what, he had a night to remember. Five touchdowns tonight for Dalton Cox. you got to give him our Qdoba player of the game. And, uh, again, 132 yards rushing tonight for the Cavaliers. Uh, Lucas Lorenz had, um, let's see, four car- three. Four carries for 40 yards, two catches for 39 yards and a touchdown. Braden Hilton, two touchdown runs tonight on uh, five carries. He had uh, 23 yards, but again, good efforts all the way around. And Zach Lundquist tonight, 10 of 13 with one interception, 177 yards throwing the football. A nice night for the junior quarterback. Again, uh, you kind of take it for granted, but uh, really did a good job spreading the ball around, getting everybody involved. And again, the Cavaliers roll to the 56-6 to win here tonight. Our next game, uh, the final game of the year, next Thursday night at Swisher Field, Ron Colley taking on Millbank. We'll be on the air pregame show around 6 6- 35, 640, somewhere in there. And then the kickoff at 7 from Swisher Field next Thursday uh, to close out the regular season. And then uh, playoff pairings will be announced on uh, Friday uh, next week. So uh, our thanks to you, to Josh back at the station for running the show, and, of course, uh, to all of our sponsors who make the broadcast possible. Our final score here tonight, Everdeen Ron Colley 56, Sioux Valley 6. This has been a Pheasant Country 103 sports presentation. Aberdeen on Colley Cavalier Football. Thanks, Scott.